sound right, boys. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? So cute. My stream is just a little bit behind on my uh, browser than it is in real life, so I'm trying to fix this and get it a little more. Uh, balanced out <clears throat> anyway so today we have a busy day a maximum of three games a minimum of uh, two so what we're gonna do is uh, start off with this American Conference Championship game against Navy if you remember we uh, played these guys back in Actually, no, we, yeah, we, we didn't play them. It was Army, I'm sorry. I thought we played them early in the year, so never mind. All right, so this will be the first time we play these guys all year. So um, anyway, we got to uh, play this game and hopefully win, and that will uh, get us into the four-team playoff because, as you can see, let me get out of the conference standings. I went to the wrong one. As you can see here in the top 25, um, we have three undefeated teams, Texas Tech, Nebraska, and Central Florida. I've already played the conference championships, so Texas Tech won, Nebraska won, and Georgia won, and I think Georgia Tech beat Clemson. So anyway, um, we have to win this game, and that'll keep us in the top four, and we can run the playoff tool. And so I'll show you guys how to do the playoff tool properly this time with the uh, PS3 because you know we tried to do this once before at Texas Tech and it was a whole fiasco but I I uh, practiced yesterday on a different save to uh, make sure I could do this properly so hopefully I remember from yesterday and we'll do that so and we win this game we'll be playing Nebraska Texas Tech will play Georgia that's what it's gonna be so we can have an 18 playoff, but I have no desire to play that many games. So, anyway, um, and we went ahead and simmed all those other games. That's how I know Texas Tech won. Because you can come in here on the schedule and see we're the only game that hasn't been played. So, you see Georgia won. No, Clemson did beat Georgia Tech. Never mind. And Texas Tech. Where's Nebraska? Nebraska pounded Michigan State. So, morning, Lou. Welcome in. So, we did this last time at the end of the stream. We went ahead and simmed all these games. So, 
we're the only conference championship that has to be played so so uh yeah we're gonna have if we win beat navy we'll have three undefeated teams and we'll uh we'll bring in georgia instead of clemson just because of their uh the bcs ranking has them higher and so uh and Georgia will remain higher because they will have beaten a ranked team. Seabus, welcome. Hey, good morning, good morning. So we can beat Navy. It'll be these four teams in the playoff, and I'll walk you guys through it. Um, I was doing it totally wrong last time, so that's why we had so much trouble with locking up my PlayStation and everything. So, And I'm actually going to show you how to do it, um, show you how to use the uh, not only the playoff tool, but also how to uh, move the files I'll do a, a, a screen capture of my desktop and everything so you can see me do it step by step. So hopefully I don't go too fast. And I believe after this game, they award the Heisman. So we would have to have a really good game by our halfback to get it, which is amazing considering he wasn't the starter last year or this year, and he's going to have over 1,000 yards both years. So kind of hoping he doesn't win it because uh, we have that 95 speed guy that's going to be the number one again next year so oh here real quick look at our quarterback almost 800 yards better than anybody else and look navy has a guy with 2,000 yards almost 2100 yards rushing let's go look at them real quick hey mr j how you doing Let's go look at Navy since that's who we're playing and we have not played them this year. Should have gone the other way, it would have been faster. All right, so look at this. Look at this. Unbelievable. They've only thrown for 600 yards for the whole season. Literally. Thrown for 600 yards all season. They have almost as many interceptions as touchdowns. Wow. 2,000 yards for Jamar Miller. Look at these receiving yards. All right, so we basically are we're just going to play the run. We're going to be living in the 5-2 and 4-6 all day. 51 pancakes by their right tackle. Wow. They don't get a lot of sacks. They don't get a lot of TFLs. That's probably because they control the clock so much the other team doesn't have the ball. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a team with less than 1,000 yards passing <laughs> in week 15, week 16, whatever the hell this is. That's crazy. All right, let's get in here and play this game. Hold on, i got to turn the sound for the game back on. I turn the sound off when I'm not playing because it just feeds right through my speakers the entire time. So I get tired of hearing the uh, background music from this game in my ear while I'm trying to watch other people stream. Wow, that's amazing. Alright, I know Navy has some really cool uniforms with the, uh, the new revamp one. I think we're going to go with this one. We'll look at all of them though. That's a cool ass helmet right there. I like this uniform. I don't like the color of the helmet. It doesn't match. Would have been better if it was white. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like with baby pants. I actually like the they're, uh, they're plain white ones now that I look at it. All right, we're going to go with that. And we're going to go with the uh, this one. I don't want that one. All right, this should be interesting. We will have a bowl game, whether we win this game or not. So there will be at least two games. Um, should we win this game, we will have... A semifinal game, and we'd have to win that to play in the national championship. So there'll definitely be two games today, and a little uh, walkthrough on the utility tool for PlayStation 3 people. So 
had to create two separate scenes for uh, Streamlabs so I can show you the playoff tool and show you my desktop. So hopefully uh, I don't screw that up. Look at this. 323 yards per game. They're only averaging 57 yards passing. And all of that, they're only scoring 26 points a game. And you can see that we have the best offense and the best defense as far as points go. The least amount of rush yards allowed. Best passing. This should be quite an interesting game. And their quarterback is questionable. Their other quarterback is out. This corner is out. And their outside linebacker is out. Wow. So that's why they've had five different, four different, these are four or five different quarterbacks play because they have two of them injured. So no wonder they're not throwing the ball. Spectre, welcome in. Yeah, we were just going over Navy stats. They have not thrown for a thousand yards this year. We're in the conference championship and they have less than a thousand yards passing as a team. And their uh, main running back is almost 2,100 yards. All right, so we got to win this game, and we'll play Nebraska in one of the uh, semifinals while Texas Tech plays Georgia. Right, guy, welcome. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hold on one sec, I gotta change my sound. Just crank it down just a touch on my computer because I'm getting double sound here. Alright. <coughs> Alright, here we go, guys. Jimmy Two Bleasy had a really good game last night. Or yeah, not last night. Last last stream he had a uh, game where he ran a kickback for a touchdown and he ran a fumble recovery back for a touchdown in the same game. And then we also had a pick six. All right, let's uh, do a little bit of running at them like they like to do to everybody else and see what happens here. Well, that was good. 27 yards right up the gut. I'll take that every day. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's get our uh, quarterback fully warmed up here with some passing now. We know they're going to control the clock, so... We just got to be judicious with our passing here and make sure we don't throw picks. There we go. Nice catch. What I really want to do is control the clock and keep them off the field as much as I can because if we keep scoring touchdowns, eventually they're going to have to start passing the ball. Get out of bounds. Wow. And uh, once they start having to throw the ball, we can tee off because I guarantee the receivers on this team are trash. These uh, heavy running teams don't recruit good wide receivers, so. Go catch him. There we go. There we go. So we will be moving to the ACC next year. I'm going to move Wake Forest down to the American. I, I might double check their ratings before we're done to make sure they're not like a four-star school or something. But we will we will be moving to the ACC, and I'll put us in the same division as Florida State, Miami, and Clemson. So we have uh, the two uh, Florida teams as rivals, and uh, we'll be in Clemson's division. <coughs> I could put us in the other division so that we play Clemson in the conference championship every year, pretty much. Um, but I'd rather just play them head-to-head -head every year instead during the regular season. Third and three. All right, let's get this. We will go for it on fourth down if we don't get this, so I'm not too worried. Spectre, you added um, 10 points, but we haven't put them on your player yet. 
So you redeemed, but um, we were going to put him on your guy um, after you came in so we could you could go through and see where you wanted to put him. So just remind me when the game's over and we can take care of that. There we go, push. This guy's a chance to win the Heisman if he can uh, have a good day running and probably put up three, three or four touchdowns. Let's see if we can get him that first touchdown right here. We can still get a first down without scoring, so. Boom. All right. That was pretty uh, easy. Yeah, I saw you redeem points two times, so I know that's uh, that's 10 points, so we'll see where you're deficient and uh, see if we can balance your, uh, your player out. You're, I think you're the number two outside linebacker, um, but I think the starter, here you can see I already sim this game, so we know Texas Tech won. So if you're not the starter, um, then he'll be a senior next year. But I have so many linebackers that we recruited that uh, we're going to spread those around and make sure we have a, a balanced group. And uh, probably the two guys that were in the high 70s are going to get redshirted, and the guys in the 80s might play. All right. So we're going to go there. We're going to go there. We know these guys are going to be uh, run heavy, so... Let's get in here. I gotta get this. Gotta get this guy out here to protect the edge. Look, their their running back is their, their quarterback wears number twenty four. They must be. They might be playing a running back at quarterback. I think you're close to the eighty mark already, Specter. So, because you're one of the uh, high overall guys that we brought in, but I didn't redshirt you. There we go. Man, bots are in here early. I'm getting to the point where I might have to, uh, I might have to make my chat um, sub only. <laughs> I don't want to do that because I get getting a lot of newer people uh, in the chat that are just finding the stream, and I don't want them to not be able to talk. But fuck these, these. Uh, these bots are out of control. This is not their best player. They're just killing us with the fullback right now. Their, their number one running back is the one that has 2,000 yards. <clears throat> Let's do this. They're just chewing clock. That's fine. The more time they waste, the shorter the game gets, the better it is for us because I know we can throw in these guys. Love how these fullbacks just blow everybody up. They haven't hardly run with their number one back at all. Oh, wishbone. Look at this. Yeah, I'm flipping between the 46 and the 5-2. Might have to switch. If our guys get tired here, I'm going to run 3-3-5 three, three, right now just because my guys are getting a little tired. I can bring in some faster players. We'll bring in some linebackers to blitz. This guy Coleman that I'm on right now has like 12, 
12 sacks, something like that. Alright, we're going to play a little bit of pass here. I'm going to use her this linebacker to try and stop the run. But we're going to we're going to play for them to pass the ball. Oh, what a look at that shit. Amazing. That's okay. We went through this early in the year with Georgia Tech and Army back-to-back -back weeks. That was not fun. Not fun at all. If we can get some blocking, uh, if I can get some blocking on these kick returns, we'll be in good shape as well. There we go. St. Breezes with the catch. He'll get more involved next year because the uh, three seniors in front of him are kind of blocking his uh, his pass attempts to him. All right. Let's see if Square is going to be open. Go Truth. There we go. Like I said, we can throw in these guys all day. Don't fumble. That's the only thing I got to worry about with this guy. I got to make sure I take my hand off the buttons and off the trigger and just let him get tackled normally and not force it. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can uh, at least get this first down. Here we go. I don't know why he's running so slow. He's already carried the ball five times. I was watching Param Crow last night, and he has the... Uh, same issue where uh, his running backs aren't running at their full ability early in the game. Yeah, I should have. I should have. Should have called a different play. That's all right. We're gonna run it again. Except we're gonna do a different run. We'll do this. We'll spread them out. Like I've said in the past, my offensive line locks, they, they block much better on these zone runs than uh, other ones. Yeah, this is, this is four down territory. We're just going to keep running the ball in. I don't want them to, to pick the ball off. Quarter down. That was pretty fast. It was very fast, actually. All right, we got to block these fucking linebackers and keep them from blitzing through the line. With those two safeties back off the line, this should be okay. Here we go. Here we go. Beat them at their own game. We'll throw a little bit more as we get closer to halftime. See what the score is. No. I never run the goal line. I, I don't even know that I have goal line in this um, playbook. They, uh, they block shed so easy. I don't know why they do that. It's even worse in Madden. In Madden, there's no point in running a, a goal line because um, they're in your backfield before you hand the ball off. All right, 
Let's force them to run outside. Wow. Not one of our guys got through that the offensive line. Okay. We'll back to uh, we'll go back to our normal defense, and we're just going to blitz. They're going to run the ball here, and that's fine. Well, I thought for sure he was going to hand that ball off. That's fine. Throw the ball away. That's their first incomplete pass. This team hasn't even thrown for a thousand yards, and they're coming out here, acting like they're a uh, air raid offense. This. this is amazing. I'll have to check my playbook later and see what we've got. And see if we, because uh, we can always go practice, practice mode and try it out. These broken tackles drive me insane. Another time, welcome in, man. Whatever they do in the new game, they gotta fix these broken tackles. Now I'm playing the CPU sliders are set at 50, and my sliders are set at 30. Um, both quarterbacks have QB accuracy of 10. Both um, teams have interceptions set at 35. But everything else for them is 50, and everything else for me is 30. All right, this is the big play here. We need to hold them to a, t a field goal. No touchdowns here. <clears throat> We're just going to play it straight up. He's out of bounds. No way. Wow. Yeah, review that. I don't think he had his feet down. Yeah, he did. That's all right. Yeah, Spectre, I had, I started using, uh, well, when I first started playing Heisman, I went to default, and then I started going to uh, J-Kit's sliders, which has yours, all, your sliders way down and has the CPU just marginally down. Um, and so after playing the uh, Mizzou Dynasty and through Texas Tech into this one, to start to uh, push the uh, CPU ones up, make it a little more uh, difficult. Biggest issue is the broken tackles. That shit drives me insane because there's no no reason for them to break. You know they're they're pushing and punching and shoving off defensive linemen with quarterbacks and shit. Bunch truth. This is why I'm not worried. Even if they score, we're gonna have good field position to start. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna take a shot here. Let's see what their DBs can do. Oh, catch the ball, Collins. Fuck, that was an easy first down. That makes it second and ten. I'm watching Square over here on the left. I'm gonna watch that safety by the hash marks and see what he does. There it is. He played off. He wasn't playing in his own. And I knew that I knew that corner right there was playing man. 
So Truth had just had to get to his uh, point to plant his foot in the ground, and he was going to be wide open. Stop. Don't fumble. <laughs> Let's try not to take a straight on shot so I wouldn't fumble. Oh, wow. Truth is out. He'll be back for a second and a half. Or right, actually, it's going to tell me, do you want to bring him back in? And we're going to say yes. I kind of want to score quickly here because I want them to have the ball and then give us a chance to get the ball back before halftime so we can get another score. Whether it's a field goal or a touchdown, I don't care because that'll be hopefully the last drive of the half. So. There we go. There we go, Truth. On that particular slant play, all I did was watch the middle linebacker, and whatever side he went to, I'm looking at the opposite receiver. So I have both outside receivers going slants. So as soon as that middle linebacker drifted to my right, his left, um, then I knew I was going to the left outside receiver. I just had to let him get off the press, and then it was an easy throw. I get tired of throwing interceptions to middle linebackers in the red zone, so I just watch them, and they'll tell you what side to throw to. We got our quarterback sufficiently warmed up too, so that should be uh, make it easier for us on this next drive before half. We just got to stop these guys. Good morning, revamp. Welcome in, man. These uh, these guys at Navy have passed for less than a thousand yards coming into this game, and their number one running back has oh, almost twenty one hundred yards rushing. But uh, their fourth string quarterback's dotting us up in the first half here, so. <laughs> I think he's only thrown one incomplete pass so far. Got, oh man, I had him. Uh, my thumb's gonna hurt so bad after this game. I'm squeezing the, uh, squeezing my controller and pressing hard on the buttons like it makes a difference. So after this game's over, we'll do the uh, little... What the hell was that? We'll do the little tutorial on how to uh, move your save file over, copy it to your PC, make a copy of that so you don't lose the original, and then put it through the uh, tool the right way, and then move it all back the right way, because I wasn't doing it the right way before. That's why I was having trouble in locking up my uh, PlayStation. So, it'll take a little bit. It's not going to take all day, um, but it's not like a click here, click here, click here, you're done. Alright, take that first down, that's okay. So, whenever we decide to use this playoff tool going forward, what I'll do is we'll... Uh, We'll play through the conference championship, and that'll be the last game for the stream. So we will, uh, we will watch, we we will watch the amount of games that we play, so that we always finish with the conference championship on a stream, and that'll leave the playoff. Um, uh, first game of the playoff to start a new stream, and that way I can get some of this file movement back and forth done off stream and we don't have to waste so much time watching me uh, move files on a flash drive. 
So basically, you just have to watch me do it between the semifinal and the championship game instead of twice. There we go. Stopped. They're going to have to punt or go for it. I don't think they can kick a 59-yard field goal. All right, let's do fake punt here. We've already had 13 fake punts run against this, so let's see if they do another one. Are you fucking kidding me? 14, guys. 14 fake punts. I want to thank the guys that uh, revamped for totally fucking up the punt game. Morning, USN. Hey, any of you guys have uh, contacts for the guys who do uh, work on revamp? Tell them to fix the goddamn punt return bullshit so we don't have 13 fucking fake punts. This is ridiculous. Pick that. There we go. Ropes with the pick. No points for you. Now we got a minute to get down the field and get some points ourselves. We don't need to go hog wild on these guys right away. Stop it. How am I today? I'm uh, in pain with my elbow and shoulder and ankle, but other than that, I'm doing really good, man. How are you doing? Some days you wake up and you just hurt, 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 and other days it's not so bad. But we can win three games today. I'll get some tequila, so that would help. I had to just throw that one away. I should have hit down on my uh, right controller and just threw it away instead of trying to force that pass. Let's try the slot outs. Let's get, we have plenty of time. We have two timeouts. Mike 51, Mike 51. There we go. Short third down. Should be able to get this play. All right, looking X and square on this one. Here we go, Truth. Get up the field. That's my normal play where I like to throw the tight end, but they're they're playing off this outside receiver. I'm going to keep throwing to him. Look, Truth already has 100 yards receiving. Boom, touchdown. There we go, unknown. Told you. We can throw on these guys all day long. Let's see what they can do with 28 seconds. Thank you. Yeah, I tapped that one because I didn't want them to uh, snag that with a low, low trajectory on the ball. I could see that guy just... Snagging it right at the you know two or three yard line. I've had to uh, force myself to uh, tap the uh, tap the button more. Yeah, my phone's getting blown up this morning. I have uh, I have a bunch of guys that I went to high school with that we usually get together every two or three months, and we haven't gotten together in two years because of COVID. So they want to get together in mid August, and I'll be in the Smoky Mountains. So I won't be able to to go uh, hang out with these guys <coughs> now watch the passing on this team this team this is their third string quarterback and they didn't throw for a thousand yards during the regular season I want you to see how well these guys can throw <laughs> when they didn't do it all year long 
This is crazy. Oh yeah, go Jimmy. Turn, 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 turn. Hey, we got 14 seconds. We got enough time. We still have two timeouts. We got time for a, uh, at least a field goal. Probably need to get to the 35. Uh, truth is going to be open. Step out of bounds. That'll give us one shot at the end zone and then a field goal. Shit, we're almost to 250 yards passing already. Told you we can throw in these guys. All right, got to watch this middle linebacker. Kind of leaning towards circle right now. I was watching the clock. I had to step out of bounds and make sure we had time to kick this field goal. I probably could have thrown it to the end zone, but I was like, yeah, let's just take the points and be done with it. Hey, 17-point lead. Now, uh, now we know they're going to have to throw the ball, so we don't have to worry about their, uh, their best weapon on offense, which is our halfback or fullback or whoever is that guy that has... Uh, 2,000 yards. Plus it's a three-score game now. So as long as we don't throw picks or they don't hit stick us into multiple fumbles, we should be good to go the rest of the game. Let's go, boys. I totally whiffed. I could have could have tackled him. I was aiming for the quarterback. Oh, totally left the middle open. I was playing the option, and uh, it was a triple option. I didn't. I didn't play the fullback dive. That was terrible. All right, let's blitz up the middle on these guys. Take away, make him run outside. I have this set to aggressive to hit the quarterback too, and they're not hitting him. I still think that's a uh, running back playing quarterback and not a real quarterback. Didn't you see him hurdle? <laughs> I don't know what that animation was on the running back. He pitched in the ball. He does a hurdle. Watch this. He throws it to him. Whoops. <laughs> That's like a user error when you hit the wrong button. That was a CPU, though. That's too funny. Isn't it amazing that they always find the right guy? They never throw to the wrong guy. Let's try this one instead. We'll play flat coverage on the uh, outsides and uh, crash on the on the edges. Man, these fullbacks are way overpowered in this game. Way overpowered. Oh, Mac Dub's playing in snow. I'd much rather play in snow than play in rain. Oh, you got to pick that. Got to pick that. Who's there? Of course, he's just going to go right through the middle. Of course, just let him have it.
We're going to pound this a little bit with a halfback and a quarterback and try and eat some clock. Try and uh, limit how many touches they get on the ball the rest of the game. I hate kicks down the middle. All right. Got it over the 25. That's a decent starting point. <coughs> Let's go. After this game, I'm going to have to go get it some water because my coffee's all gone. I need something to, uh, something to drink. All right, we got our 100 yards rushing. Collins has only got 39, so we're going to work on that. He's He's got a shot at the Heisman, but I don't know that we're going to uh, feed him the ball enough. If he, if he gets like 150 yards, that might make a difference, but I don't, I don't think we're going to run it enough to do that. He's going to have to bust one off. There you go. Shove them down for a change. X and square. Oh, catch the ball. He's wide open. Wide open, man. Wide open. Watch. This is where they're going to hit stick my quarterback and force a fumble so they can get it down to a one-score game. Kind of gave up on that play as soon as made contact. Not pressing. It's smart on their part. There you go. Catch him. Can't wait to get Gucci back next year so we can do some wiggling. The straight line running is nice when you have the right uh, offensive line, but I really I want to be able to uh, get get some outside runs and uh, like I said, they hit stick my guy and cause a fumble. It's predictable, so predictable. As soon as we get the ball back, we're going deep on these guys. Yeah, I'm going to change the setting here in a second. Got him. There we go. Sit down. Come on with this fucking broken tackle bullshit. That's the guy that has 2,000 yards, Miller. Right there, fighting off a tackle. Almost goes down, no. You see this bullshit in everybody's streams, man. It's so frustrating. Everybody's streams, it's the same story. I don't know what they did, but I know they changed the AI to be more uh, sort of adjusts to your play calls and learns what you play, I guess. I don't know how they did that, 
but the broken tackles are broken, completely broken in this game. And they are in the base game too. Pretty sure this is going wide. Wow, fourth and inches. You know they're going to have to go for it. They're only down 10, so they should take the field goal, but you know they're going to go for it. As I said, they're going to hit stick me into a fumble so they can get a touchdown and make it a one score game. All right, we had 250 yards passing in the first half, so we're going to go back to throwing the ball. Fuck the clock. We're just going to put points up on these guys. Alright, Jimmy, get a good return. Hopefully these guys will block for you. Nope. Just let them run free. That's okay. No, I don't need to know that stat information. Let's go. Now we got two receivers over 100 yards. And they want to press. It's fine by me. Touchdown. There we go. Nice throw. Drop that one in there really nice. That one I kind of held a little bit longer. That wasn't a uh, tap. That was a, a little bit more oomph to it to get it there. But I almost got hammered by that uh, linebacker at the end. Whoever that was, that was in my face. Both these receivers are uh, seniors, so they won't be back, but we've got uh, good guys behind them. So you've seen Breezes in the slot every once in a while. He'll be one of the outside guys, and hindsight Grimm has a, uh, he has an 81 overall freshman that's being redshirted, so we're going to have two guys in the uh, mid to high 80s coming back next year. And, uh, and, uh, so we have an 84 that's a red shirt, an 83 that's a red shirt, and an 80 that's being red shirted. So we're going to replace these three seniors with three other guys that are pretty good. So we're not going to lose much production there. And tight end, we have a junior being red shirted. So we'll have a senior, junior, sophomore. All three of them are pretty good. Yeah, those guys... They're going to wish they hadn't done that. <laughs> Especially Texas. Those guys are not going to have the success they think they're going to have. Can't believe I didn't get that sack. Cannot believe I didn't get that sack. I had three guys around him and I couldn't get I couldn't get on the right guy. Yeah, we're just going to run safe man on the punts for our, ever because I don't trust this game anymore. Yeah, Texas is going to have trouble beating uh, people like Tennessee, Missouri, Kentucky, and those teams. They've had one season of 10 wins since 2013, so they're, they're not at the top peak level right now. 
I don't know if it'll make a difference. I mean, how much how much difference or how many more can recruits can they get from the state of Texas by changing conferences? Fuck this game. Oh, what a cut. That was a nice cut. I had the pursuit angle. I was going to get that guy. Watch this cut. Whoops. That was a good move by the CPU. What the hell was the quarterback doing on that play? That was a broken animation. Watch this. He, no, they didn't show it from the snap. He just kind of stood there with his hands down like he just received the snap, and he was like frozen. And then he pinballed offense, off the offensive lineman. That was really strange. Here we go. Stay in the end zone. All right, they want to fumble, make us fumble every time we uh, run the ball, so let's just not run the ball. Circle and square. Hey, he caught the ball and held on. And that little DB takes down a linebacker with ease. Isn't that nice? He's trailing and he grabs him and totally stops his momentum and throws him to the ground. Isn't that amazing? There we go. Way to hang out to the ball. All right, let's burn this clock a little bit. Take this all the way down. Run a play. Run it all the way down. We're only ten points up, so I got to get a touchdown now to get a not get a field goal. But let's uh, limit how much time they have left to come back. mode hey welcome in man trying to uh, win this conference championship game get on to the uh, four team playoff and uh, see if we can win a natty with these guys I'll take this down under four minutes here Yeah, we'll just punch it in. Hell with it. They don't want to cover the middle of the field. I'll take that. Now they're down 17 points. Okay, sounds good. 
We will be here. We've got uh, at least one more game after this, which uh, will be the first semifinal in the uh, playoff. And then if we uh, beat Nebraska, then we'll either play Georgia or Texas Tech in the uh, championship game. So Then we'll do the off-season recruiting and uh, pre-season recruiting and all that good stuff and get the next season teed up. I'm not going to be aggressive here. We're just going to be a little more pass cover, keep them in the pocket, keep them in bounds, burn the clock on these guys. This is probably the highest pass yard total they've had all season for any one game. Oh, there we go. Thought Jimmy was going to get there. I'll take the pass deflection. That works. Throw another DB out there. Wow, he held on to that. Hey, this is what we wanted. We wanted these guys to. Uh, we wanted these guys to throw and not run. Get him. There we go. Sack. Voodoo Hendricks with the sack. That's like his 13th or 14th of the year. I think it's 14. Dr. Shadow, welcome, welcome. Keep him short. There we go. Yep, Hendricks is a beast. He had a four or five sack game earlier this year. Norse guy, hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Trying to get this conference championship won in year three. We uh, we won last year as well, but we lost to Clemson in the uh, Orange Bowl, Sugar Bowl. I can't remember which one it was. That was the game where I threw a pick in the end zone with a uh... oh, nice hit. We had the uh, we were in, in range to kick a field goal to tie the game, but I was trying to win the game in regulation, and I threw a pick. So we're trying to get back to a bowl game and uh, do better this time. <clears throat> so once this game is concluded, we're going to have to do the uh, playoff tool. So that'll take a little bit of time to do that and show you guys how to do that. So. I'm on PS3. It's different on computer. It's much easier if you're playing this game on PC, but I don't have a PC strong enough to stream and play the game. I have I have one strong enough to play the game, just not play the game and stream. Let's bring our strong safety. There we go. Force them to throw it away. Good job, guys. Good job. You know they're going to have to go uh, go for it on fourth down. They're down three scores. So we just got to play smart here. We have a new quarterback. What happened to the other one? We, we hurt that guy? Oh, Jesus. That was me. I switched to him, and then he didn't turn around and pick the ball. If I just don't hit circle, I actually didn't mean to hit circle. And, uh, damn, we had him stopped. Complete user error. I don't know what happened to the quarterback, but that was a backup guy that came in. Now watch for the hit stick on this play, too. Don't 
Twice we've uh, recovered onside kicks and they hit stick us into a fumble and get the ball back. <clears throat> Ten point lead. I'll take a field goal here because then they'd have to score two touchdowns. So I just want to stay inbounds and make them call timeouts. That'll work. I'll take third and five. Stay in bounds. There we go. All right, got 400 yards passing. Now we can go back to running. And they are uh, out of timeouts, so we should be able to chew the rest of this clock off and, uh, worst case, kick a field goal in this game. That should get him to uh, 100 yards for the game. Very close. Yep, there we go. try and run it in with the running back because I know he needs touchdowns for uh, the Heisman race so we'll see and he didn't get the first down that's good that chews more time off the clock Boom, there we go. Back up to a three score lead. And we got the 50 burger. There we go. Load up Photoshop so I can update our schedule. Play cover four, play passive defense, try and keep him in bounds, let this clock burn off, and uh, get out of here and go play Nebraska. Boom. Nice hit. That was tight spot. There we go. Knock that down. Hey, revamp. Still in here. Um, when you go to do the playoff tool, you got to make sure you have a flash drive that's uh, formatted for 32 fat. So when you format the flash drive, you can it'll ask you what you want to, how you want to format it. You might have to right click it and tell it to format, but it needs to be 32 fat for the PlayStation 3. And uh, I basically cleared everything else off that so that I know that flash drive I'm only using for this so I have plenty of room to not only load the uh, revamp update files when they come down but also the save files for this tool but it has to be fat32 formatted so Just uh, let this clock run out. I'm not going to call another play. All right, 
Yeah, I'm not sure either. That I, mean, I don't know what to tell you on that one. If you got if you gone to their Discord and asked them if they've had any issues like that previously, because um, I just put it on my PC and it was not a problem at all. So something's preventing it from uh, recognizing the file. All right, eighteen to twenty-one for four oh seven, three touchdowns. He's had a lot of games with no picks and no sacks this year, so that's a good step up in production. Collins got his 118 and four TDs, so let's see if that's enough to get him a, a Heisman. Truth and catch them all just going nuts. Right end with three TFLs, two sacks. All those TFLs. Five, yeah, five sacks. Three picks. Damn. Defense came to play today. These guys were averaging almost 300 yards on the ground. And we kind of took that away from them. <clears throat> like I said, when we started the game, their quarterback, their, all of their quarterbacks combined had less than 1,000 yards passing. So <laughs> that's why I wanted to make them pass the ball. Yeah, I don't need the trophy. All right, so we have to advance the week. So when you're going to do the playoff tool, you have to be in the bowl week. Before you play any bowl games, you got to get to this point. So what we got to do is uh, now I have to go exit out of the game, take the save file and put it on my flash drive, take my flash drive out, put it in my PC, copy those over to my, to my desktop, put them in a separate folder on the desktop, and then we're going to work with the folder, the file on the desktop and update all of that. And what you have to do first is you have to set the polls to make sure the four teams are one, two, three, four. And you have to set them that way in all three of the polls. That doesn't take long. Then you save it and then you can go into the tool and go into the first step of the four team playoff. And then with the PS3, once you're done setting all of that up, then you have to run it through the encryption thing so that it doesn't lock up and freeze your PlayStation and then copy the files back to your flash drive put them back on the PS3 copy them back hey we won the Heisman our backup halfback wow amazing that should have been Gucci <clears throat> yeah we're, we might play in the Sugar Bowl but it's not going to be against Georgia Collins with the Heisman Pimpack with a Bednarik. Linebacker with a Nagurski. Another linebacker with a Butkus. Pimpack with a Thorpe Award. There we go. Truth wins the kick return. Johnny the Jet Rogers. And I win the coach of the year. All right. So this is where... You come in here, go to your top 25, and this is where you look at them and you decide who you're going to put, as you can see. You can see by the points that it thinks Georgia is better than Clemson, so that's why we're going to go with Georgia. It should be that way with all three. So we shouldn't have to make any changes to the bowl, to the polls, I mean. <clears throat> but we'll go into the poll. I can show you how to move teams around and stuff. I don't have uh, auto save on, so we have to save this manually. And uh, we'll go from here. So, this is where you're going to see. We have to exit out of the game, and I'll show you where it, what to do within the PlayStation. So, if you're playing on revamped, you know you have to have multi man um, installed. Here's my instructions it's an entire page, a little on the backside. All right, going to exit out of the game because you have to shut the game down to uh, copy the files. You don't have to do that on PC, so that's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes.
All right, so once you're done saving the file and exiting out of the game, you're going to come back here where you enable hen and all that stuff. You're going to scroll down here to where multi-man is stored, right here. And you just hit X on the PlayStation. And it's going to go do its thing and load multi-man and hopefully doesn't lock up my PlayStation. <coughs> <coughs> give it a sec, it's got to go through its process and... Hopefully it doesn't lock up. Hey, there you go. All right, so this is where normally you would hit X and, and it would load the game and you can start playing. But instead, you're going to hit Triangle to give you this menu. Scroll all the way down to File Manager. Hit X. And the left joystick moves this window around. Right joystick moves your cursor around. I already have my flat my uh, flash drive. <clears throat> flash drive's already plugged into the PlayStation. So what I'm going to do is go over here where it says PS3 root. Double click X. Sorry. Tell me that. It's a fucking capture card. All right. <sighs> Let's try this again. So once you exit out of the game, you're going to scroll to the bottom and you're going to load Multiman. And when Multiman loads, you're going to get the uh, cover for the uh, NCAA 14 on the screen. When you see the cover, not the disk icon, but the cover, click Triangle, scroll down to where it says File Manager, click X. X will take you into this screen. All right. You won't have this up here. You'll just have this one down here instead. You'll have this one instead. All right, that'll default load right here. So that gets you into all your save files. Okay. To get to your flash drive, you go to PS3 root, double click it, and that's going to take you to this menu here. All right. Then you go down to where it says USB, double click it. On USB, you should already have a PS3 folder. And that's where your save files go. I've already got this uh, in here. That's an old one. That's the one I was testing yesterday. We are going to... Delete that. So this is your uh, USB f right there. You're going to come over here to the game itself. You're going to go to this very first blank folder. Double click X. Double click it again. And then you're going to go down to here where it says home. Double click that. Go to this one that has a number one at the end. Double click it. Go down to save data. Double click that. These are all my save files that I have on my PlayStation. So you're going to go up to where the date is. And make sure you put the cursor right on date. And double click it. And then you're going to, you're going to go to this file right here. And you're going to hit circle. And then X, which copies it. Go back to your USB. Hit circle. And hit X to paste it. That's the first time. Once we do it the second time, I'm going to change the individual files. And I'm not going to copy the entire folder. So now I have my save file on my USB. If I click it, you'll see I have the uh, US data. This is user data. This is the, all the files related to the game. All this stuff is saved. All right. So now you know you have everything correctly on your USB. You can close these two things up. Go back to games. 
double click it and you're sitting right here so now we're going to take the USB out we're going to come over here I'm going to plug it into my PC Go to my computer, go to my flash drive, my USB drive, go to PS3, here's my Dynasty file right here, right? So what I'm going to do is copy that entire PS3 folder to my desktop. I'm going to minimize that now. So now it's on my desktop, it's also on my flash drive. And so that I don't totally screw something up like last time, I'm going to make a new folder and call it Playoff. And I'm going to copy and paste that into there so that when I make changes, when I make changes to this one, if I screw something up, I still have the uh, original one here because we're going to copy this back and forth between the desktop and the USB. So I want to clean copy in case I jack something up. Okay. So now we're going to work with this one here, this PS3 folder. We're working this. All right. So what you do is you come in here in the utility that's already loaded up. You're going to go to Poll Editor. First thing you have to do is edit the polls. Open File. Go to the desktop. Find your PS3. Find your Dynasty. Hit User Data. Open. Now it's going to go through the steps of loading all that data in. All right, so now we have our top 25. This is the BCS poll. You can see these are all 25. It's got the uh, all the way down to the very worst team, ULM, at 126 on the right. So you can actually move these teams around however you want. So if I wanted to put uh, UCF as one, I would just click and drag it. Or I can use the arrows and push them up. But I'm, I'm fine being where we are. We're, we're at a smaller conference. We don't need to be one. <clears throat> we're going to play Nebraska anyway. Now, if I wanted to move Notre Dame and Mississippi State down because they have three losses, I could push them down. And I'll do that just to show you. So let's drop them below Army. And we're going to go to the coaches poll. All right, so Clemson, Kansas, Army, Notre Dame. Clemson, Kansas, Army, Notre Dame. Do the same thing here. Clemson, Kansas. Right there. Clemson, Kansas, Army, Notre Dame, assisted. All right, everybody's the same. We're good to go. All right. So now that you have that done, and those polls are all the same, you're going to save it. <coughs> so you actually, on the next page, you can go edit all of the uh, poll matchups here. So we're going to hit this, go in this left corner and hit this arrow. That'll take us back to the front page. Now we can go back into the football playoff poll. I'm going to click four team playoff. I'm going to go to step one. And we got to open the file again. And wait for it to load. <clears throat> All right, now you can see Texas Tech against Georgia in the Orange Bowl, Nebraska against Central Florida in the Cotton Bowl. You can change the bowl games just by clicking on the logo and picking it. All right, you can take a photograph here if you want to save it and put it on social media or whatever. But everything's correct here. You're going to click this arrow over here on the right. And then you're going to click it again. 
and this is going to show you every bowl matchup. So you can move move the matchups around however you want to do it. The red ones say cannot edit. Those are the, the uh, semifinals. Here you have the BCS championship game with placeholder schools in there. So what's going to happen is once you play these two semifinal games, the winners are going to show up here. And these two teams are going to move in and take their place in this bowl game. That's temporary. It'll show that way in the scores and schedules page. But once you finish the entire process, play the BCS championship game, save, bring it back into the tool to finalize everything, those two games will show the correct two teams and correct scores. And this will show the correct two teams and two scores. And these two teams will just disappear. But you can go in and edit any of these matchups. And if you forget where the uh, what the rankings are, you can come in here. You can click right here so you don't have to go back into the game to see where the who's ranked where. Okay. So we're fine with everything here. So we're going to hit save again. All right. Now we're going to back out. And we're going to copy those files over. So this is the PS3 on my desktop. We'll hit copy. We'll go to the flash drive one. Hit paste. It's going to ask you, yeah, do you want to overwrite it? Yes, I want to overwrite it. Overwrite all those files. All right, we're good to go. So now we take the uh, flash drive out of the computer. My PlayStation fell asleep. Mac Dub, hey, thank you for the raid. Appreciate that, guys. We're going through the uh, steps for the PS3 using the playoff tool. Yeah, it's just asleep. Let's go. My PlayStation fell asleep. There we go. I just had to plug in the controller. All right. So now we're back to this page, right? <clears throat> You're going to hit triangle, come to this screen. Hit file manager, hit X. Again, this is the uh, hard drive. So let's get to where we need to go for the hard drive. We're going to go down here to home. Going to go to 01. Going to go to save data, sort by date, click it twice, double click this. I'm going to do this a little bit different than what they show because I found this, this actually worked. I had no problems doing this. So we're going to do it the way I learned how to do it and I don't have problems. All right. So now I'm in the correct folder on my PlayStation hard drive. I'm going to go over to PS3 root, double click that so we can get to the flash drive. Go down to USB, go to PS3, go to my Dynasty, and this is a little bit different, but I found that it saves having uh, any errors. So I'm going to go back to the PlayStation hard drive, hit circle, and we're going to delete these files. Circle will give you that menu. Nope, not rename, delete. <clears throat> this way we don't have to worry about it actually overwriting the file because we're deleting the file. We're going to put it back on. Copy, paste. You should only have to do the uh, data file, but I've did that yesterday and I had an issue so we're moving all of them <clears throat> all right so all that data is there 
So now we're going to close both of these. Go back to games and double click. And now we can just hit X, load the game through Multiman. And once it gets done doing all of this stuff, I might have to uh, tell the video capture device to uh, recognize this stream again, but we'll see. There we go. Now it worked. So now we're going to load the game like we normally do. See, it's right here. Okay. Now we're going to go back in the game. We're going to load the save file and hopefully it does. Oh, shit. I did it wrong. Hold on. I forgot to encrypt that file. Give me one second. I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to do this really quick on my own. While that loads, I'm going to have to quit the game out. I forgot to encrypt the file so that would make it lock up. So, one second here. I'll show you what I did. Um, after this game's over, because we're going to have to do this whole process again to get to the uh, championship game. So, give me one second here. I'll do this quickly. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Second. No, I have to encrypt the file. So we're going to uh, quit the game out, and I'll do this again really quick. So give me a second. I forgot that step. You have to do it every single time. Um or it will uh, lock up your PlayStation, so give me one second. You don't have to do this on a PC. You don't have to encrypt it. It'll go much faster. I'm going really slow right now, um, so you guys can catch what I'm doing. But once we get done with this uh, first game and I have to move the save files over and go through the whole thing again and repeat this process, I'm going to go pretty fast. I lost my depth chart for some reason. It's on a different tab, sorry. All right, see it goes pretty fast if I'm not walking walking through and telling you how to do this. All right. All 
All right, now we'll load that back in so we can uh, get back into the game. <clears throat> Should work this time. Miller time. Hey, welcome in, man. Might have said hello before, but I don't remember if I did. So welcome in. Anybody uh, watching this, we're walking through the uh, utility tool for revamped for uh, doing the playoffs for people using PS3. God, the music is so loud unnecessarily loud. All right, it should work this time. I'm glad I caught that before I had to like reboot my whole PlayStation and take 15 minutes to get this done. <laughs> it's already taken that long to do this, but I had to reboot everything. That's what happened last time. So I wasn't copying it properly, I was just copying it to the hard drive, but I wasn't copying it through Multiman. So it wasn't uh, recognizing the files, it was telling me they were corrupt and it would freeze my uh, PlayStation. So I uh, posted a link to the uh, YouTube video on, uh, I think on George's Discord on my Dynasties page, I believe. All right, cross your fingers. Let's make sure we don't get any corrupt data here. And it'll be correct if it shows us we're playing Nebraska on the front page. Let's go. And it locked up. I think it has more to do with multi-man and hen than anything else. All right, give me a second. We'll go to this one while I reboot my fucking PlayStation. All right, this did happen to me yesterday one time, so... I mean, while that's uh, rebooting, I'm going to actually go through myself and redo every one of these steps again really fast. In fact, I'm going to go back and use the original files and do this really quick. We'll have to copy all those files over again, so just a minute. We'll do this really quick. I'm going to leave the, the uh, rankings alone. I'm not going to touch those rankings and move Notre Dame and stuff down because it really doesn't matter. I was just showing you how you could move teams around, so we're just going to let it go. It's at 48. It's checking and restoring my file system for the PS3, so it'll be back on here shortly.
All right, for those of you that don't have uh, modded PlayStation, this is what you have to do to uh, get revamped on here. You have to put two programs. You got to put Hen on here, and you got to put Multi Man on there. I redid the uh, all the stuff on the computer, so I know all this stuff should be good. All right, let's go down here and load Multi Man because we have to do that anyway. <clears throat> Made sure I did this twice yesterday. Um, actually, I had to do it three times because the first time I did it. Um, I had a, an issue, it locked up, and so then I got it to work, and we simmed through, and then I simmed an entire new season, and did it again at the end of that season, so, um, I know it works, let me go back here. All right. I'm not deleting this other file because that's a PNG file. That's basically an image. It's a graphic file. It has nothing to do with how the game works. So. This one right there, that user data, that's the most important one. All right, done with this. File's been encrypted properly. I did it all over from the start. All right. Hey, man, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate that. Now the capture card doesn't want to see what's going on. loading game and the capture card's freaking out so we'll deactivate and activate that should be good to go as soon as it comes in all right sorry about the loud music what happened with the game we won um, 52 to whatever it was 52 to 35, whatever. We won by 17 points or 24 points, whatever it was. No, I don't need to be on their servers. Just let's go. So we're going to play Nebraska in uh, the first playoff game. If we can get it to uh, read this updated file properly. Come on, load the game. Beast, you're already on here. You don't have to redeem. You're already on the team, man. We haven't put you on the team yet. 
because you and revamped had already uh you and revamped had already redeemed and we were going to put you on the next recruiting class so um i would wait until we get to that point later in the stream because it's way too early i gotta i have to play at least one if not two more games There we go. Yay. Hey, there we go, guys. Nebraska. It worked. All right. So now what you need to do is come into here under scores and schedules and double check your matchups. All right. So you can see it has us playing Nebraska in the Cotton Bowl, which is correct. And then we want to see Texas Tech, wherever they are. I might have scrolled. Here we go. Texas Tech and Georgia in the Orange Bowl. That's correct. And then we have the placeholder teams of Central Michigan and West Virginia in the BCS game. So everything's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sim this game so we know who wins this game. I hate autosave, but in this case, I don't mind it. Let's see who won that game. Wow, Texas Tech wins 29-28. Look at that. Looks like they had two two two-pointers. Two touchdowns with two-point conversions. They don't have the uh, the scoring summary, but that's fine. All right, so we win this game. We're going to play our old school at Texas Tech. Cincy Bowen, welcome in. Let me turn autosave back off. I hate that thing. All right, so we are in the Cotton Bowl. All right. Let's see what Nebraska's uniforms look like. There's their standard home and away. You can make them wear all red. Yeah, we're not wearing black. Nebraska. I grew up watching Nebraska kick Missouri's ass. We are not going with black. But I do kind of like the all red. So we're going to make them wear all red. All right, we're going to go with the uh, space ones. All right, here we go. Playoff game number one. So once we get done with this game, <clears throat> we will have to uh, save, these, save the game, go back out, copy all the files to the flash drive, move them back to my computer, run them through the editor, save those, encrypt those, run them back to the PlayStation, update the files on the PlayStation hard drive. If we win, we play the BCS championship game. Well, whether we win or lose, we'll have to play the BCS championship game. We'll just sim it if we lose this game. And then, um, and then after we're done playing the game, we'll have to do the entire process, take it back over to the editor so that we can finalize everything, and that'll let us advance the offseason. <clears throat> Hey, Beast Mode, that's probably going to scroll off the screen by the time I get done playing this one or two games. So you're going to have to, to you have to copy and paste that later because I'm not touching any of those players until we get to the offseason. All right. Still don't have our guy. They don't have the left end, and their right end is hurt too. So that helps us. They're number two in points. We're number one. Looks like they run the ball a lot and we throw the ball a lot so this will be interesting and there's no sound because my default setting is uh, no no sound for this game so once we get through the uh, 
coin toss. I'll turn the sound back on. All right, we get to kick off. Love it. All right, let me get the sound back on. Doink right off the upright. The middle upright. Nice kick. All right, we're in the Jerry Dome. Let's set these up so we actually we're going to leave these on balance. We're just going to do this for the uh, quarterback. And actually, we're going to go conservative so that we don't fumble the ball so much. <coughs> All right, boys. Right secondary, lock these guys down so I can get in the backfield. Ugh, did just a little bit late. All right, let's play a little more conservative and play our normal. This looks like a run. Pinch this line a little bit. <sighs> Tried to dive in front of him and knock his legs out. Nice. And I whiffed and went completely in front of him. <coughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Nice job by the safety to fill that hole there. There we go. There we go. Negative play. Got to love that. This is where we were strong last year. Let these guys, famous Lou, thank you. This is where we uh, we uh, would let them get down inside the 10 and then we would clamp down. So let's see what we can do this time. Nice, there we go. Bend and don't break. Gotta love that. Nice first drive. Gave us some yards, but we didn't let him get in the end zone, so. It's a good start. Good start. Alright. Let's get the ball. Let's get a good kick return here. Do some damage. Of course they kick it to Jimmy, because they don't want to block for Jimmy. They only want to block for Truth, so. <laughs> As I said. Nobody wants to block for Jimmy. Boom, nice hit. I take seven yards on first down, though. Let's see how fast these linebackers blow through the gaps here and make this a negative play. Oh, wow. 
You didn't? Okay, I'll take that. short passes there we go got to complete these short passes get this guy warmed up and of course they want us to go deep so we'll go deep I'm looking at the halfback I'm really looking at the halfback here I probably could have hit either guy outside but I want to make sure I uh, don't launch the ball 13 yards out of bounds over his head let's go Truth. Just watch the middle linebacker go to the opposite side of where he drifts. That'll bring up second and three. There we go. It was a long way to go just to get five yards. <laughs> Circle square. We got truth. Got to get those wide receivers involved early. Get them some touches. Get their ankles loose too. Push. Man, he is slow. So slow at the start of the game. Since this guy fumbles so much, I prefer to get as close to my offensive line as I can so he doesn't take uh, too many direct shots and more of a glancing blow and a trip. Of course he's down at the one. Why wouldn't he be? <laughs> we always get stopped at the one on our pass plays. That's ridiculous. All right, everybody should be sufficiently warmed up after this drive. There we go. Good job, Collins. Sad part is the dude's going to have 1,000 yards last year, 1,000 yards this year, win the Heisman, and he's not going to be the starter next year. Tired of playing with the cord plugged in. <clears throat> All right. All right, Voodoo, let's go. Let's get in there. This definitely looks like a run, especially since I only have three guys playing here. Nope, they're surprising me. They really haven't plugged the, pounded the ball up the middle like I expect them to do. Normal Nebraska, they're out here throwing the ball more, so. Man, I was through the hole, but he uh, beat me to the spot. He was by me. <coughs> Let's go, boys. Man, he almost broke that tackle. He almost shoved him off. And I got to focus. My brain is thinking about Texas Tech and not Nebraska right now. So I need to 
I need to refocus on what I'm supposed to be doing here instead of thinking about how I'm going to beat my old team. Damn, my D lineman got off his block and he just ran right by him. <sighs> it's too early to do that blitz. Just play normal. I don't know where our linebackers are. We got too many tackles being made by our safeties here. These linebackers got to step up. We have good linebackers on this team, and they're, uh, they're nowhere to be found at the moment. Oh. What is that? Look at this shit. That's an extra 15 yards. Show the replay. All right, he's at the 28-yard line, okay? Had him right there at the 24, and then he drags me from the 15-yard line all the way to the 5. Just once, I want to see my guys do the same thing to them. Well, the running backs will do it once in a while, but the, the DBs, I'm sorry, the, the wide receivers never do that. They never drag those guys for 15 yards. That's ridiculous. Got him. All right, big play here, boys. Big play. Hold him to three again. Let's go. All right. One quarter down. That was fast. Should have stuck with that uh, blitz formation. Goal line blitz. C gap. Should have just stayed there. That's all right. That's okay. We just have to keep scoring touchdowns and we'll stay ahead. All right. Kick this to truth, please. I'm gonna have to go back to the uh, one one kick returner formation so they have to kick it the truth. Come on, you know that's a broken tackle if I do that. You know that's a broken tackle. No, I don't want to see that bullshit play. <coughs> hey, he held on to it this time. Good job. He may not be the starter next year. We may go with the uh, guy that's being redshirted if he has better catching because... Not totally enamored with Holt. The guy drops way too many passes. I like to use the tight end a lot, so I'm not gonna not gonna have a number one that can't hold the ball. Get up, let's go. There we go. First down. He still feels stuck in the mud. He's not quite warmed up enough yet. Hopefully he is now after this play.
There we go. Nice. No, beast mode. No. I am busy playing the game. I'm not writing it down right now. I told you to wait until later because I have this game and possibly one more game to play. I'm not writing it down. That's why I said to wait until later. I will get to it once we get through the off season and we get to the beginning of the season where I uh, set up the depth charts and the red shirts and stuff. Let's go. See if we can get three or four yards on this play. Get that whole push. First down. Yes. There we go. All right. Going a little slower because I really want this guy to get his uh, full ability on here so we can uh, run whenever we want to. All right. This is going to X. Nope. It's a sack. Uh, if I win this game, we're playing Texas Tech, my old school. I had to wait too long for the X to get open. Let's see if we can get most of this back right here. Oh, all right, we got to press. There we go, Truth. Way to hold on to it. Seven to seven. Good start. No fumbles. Damn it. I hit X. I fucking hit X. He had a hole so big to go straight in for the touchdown. Look at this. Look at that hole. That's a touchdown. Spam an X and it wouldn't hand the ball off. Probably go in circle here. We'll see. Nope. Ah, he didn't get a step. All right. Should have run the ball, made it a shorter pass on third down. Yeah, this one I'm looking at R1 more than AMX. down at the one. We'll go for that. We'll make him go 99 yards. Boom. There we go. School record rushing touchdowns in the season with 31. Play drive, man. It felt felt like a 13 play drive. <laughs> I know how you feel, Lou. I had to go uh, mow my front yard yesterday in 90 something degree, and then today, once I'm done with this stream, I got to go out and mow my half acre backyard with a push mower. I need to figure out how to kill the moles that like to uh, tear up my yard. And I have more than one. There's like a family of them. I bought traps and they just go around them. So I'm leaning towards getting a pitchfork and just stabbing all the tunnels until I kill them. Oh, damn, almost picked. So we're going to have to play uh, Texas Tech in the championship game if we survive this game. Colors covered too. Something different. They're not going to run the ball here, but I don't want to uh, 
get carried away. Pick that. There we go. Pimpact with another pick. That's like his, I don't know what, ninth or tenth of the season. All right, let's not score fast here. Let's eat as much of this as we can. Dynamite, yeah. I believe. Ooh. Went into the splits. Look at that. He went full uh, Clyde Edwards Alaire. Look at this. Watch the splits. Boom. Oh, that's two torn groins right there. At least a torn hamstring. There we go. What I need is for those black snakes that like to uh, come and go from the backyard to hang out there and uh, do some damage on these gophers. These moles, it's the same thing. Yep, stay in bounds. <laughs> Provide what for stabbing him with a uh, stabbing him with a uh, pitchfork. My wife said, "Go for it." Let's let this clock run down. Be a good way to aerate the yard too. Don't score. Thank you. There we go. Let's burn another 40 seconds off this clock. Oh, using explosives? Yeah. We, uh, we had a neighbor who used to, his kid used to get up on the roof and shoot him with a BB gun. All right, just for George. We're going to go fullback love, even though they're going to stack the line just to kill more time because um, we don't score. It'll take it down closer to 30 seconds. Oh, and they just let us walk in. Okay. All right. Two score leads. So now we got to hold them. Do not do like we did against Clemson last year in the Orange Bowl and piss away a two score lead before right before halftime. Come out and cover two and then blitz. There we go. What I wanted him to do. Make the game think we're going one play and we'll call something different. Yeah, we've got huge wooded area outside um, outside our backyard we have this big common ground so behind our house there's this, there's this huge woods and they put a, uh, a highway through the woods so um, they cut down a bunch of trees but we still have a buffer between our backyard and the highway it's all that stuff's owned by the uh, railroad that runs along on the other side of the highway So we have wooded areas back there, and we throw all of our uh, leaves. So all those leaves in the common ground dump in our backyard, so we got to go rake those up and drag them back out in the common ground and dump them. So it's basically a compost out there beyond the fence anyway. Got them. There we go. So they come and go. They're just not as frequent as I anticipated they would be. Like I said the other day, I ran over one with a car one day. It curled up behind the wheel, and I ran over, and I was like, there's a speed bump. There we go. We're calling time out. Oh, 
All right, let's go. No fake punts here, damn it. Yeah, you don't get a free shot on me. <clears throat> Why does it never give me the plays that I like and run often when I want them? Hey, you're on the three-yard line. Let's throw four verts. Hey, you got 23 seconds left. Let's run a dive play. There was nothing open. I was lucky he didn't fumble the ball. Just gonna let the clock run out. Normally I'm pretty aggressive at the end of the half, but at this point I'll just take this 11-point uh, lead and I get the ball to start the half, so there's no point in pushing it. Alright, truth. Ah. Damn, there was a big huge lane out there if I could have got around that guy. Yeah, we have rabbits that run in the backyard sometimes too. The dogs like to chase them, especially at night. And uh, we used to have a bunch of squirrels, but we had a, a big oak tree right um, close to the house behind the deck. And uh, um, we had to cut the tree down because it was starting to die. So they used to like come down and run along the top of the deck. The dogs would sit there in the uh, sliding glass door and watch them and freak out. And uh, so we don't have that anymore. But they, 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 god damn it. They, uh, they show up every once in a while. Why do you want me to throw these long passes? It's five yards. Still looking square. Man, he does not have good stiff arm break tackle. He's a big tight end and he's getting taken down by these little DBs like it's nobody's business. All right, let's try him on the other side. go float that yeah some of those old trees in the common ground they'll uh they're so old and they get brittle and storm will come through and it'll big old branch will fall down it's bigger than my leg or you know bigger thicker than my thigh and have to get out there with a chainsaw and cut it up and get it out of the yard before it kills the grass a couple of times um it's fallen on the fence and just crushed the fence had to go back out there and fix it twice now it's like oh jeez. All right, I want to press the truth. I'm still looking at square. Circle square. Damn it. He didn't even bother turning to look. He was just running straight up the field. Straight up the field. That was stupid. What a wasted drive. We gotta be less aggressive with these guys. Yeah, my phone just will not stop blowing up. Alright, 
ways. Big stop here. Hopefully a sack. Make it third and long. Yeah, that works the same. TFL, man. Now we got to step up. All right, D-line. Do your job. Let's go voodoo. Beat this guy. Get in the backfield. Jimmy, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Go, Jimmy, go. Pick up a block. All right. And we both and we've both thrown picks. There we go. That makes it second and two. I know he's blitzing on the left. I'm going to wait and see what happens with the defensive end. Fuck. Sometimes they'll both crash down really hard and you can run straight around them. That's alright. It's third and five. Third and five's okay. Didn't get it. We'll go for that. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is smart. That is smart. I can go shit in somebody else's yard and not yours. Although I did have a neighbor who liked to let his dogs out in the front yard and they would come shit in my yard. And that stopped because one time uh, I went outside and it was raining and I got this big pile of crap in my yard. So I scooped it up and put it on the hood of his wife's car. No more dog poop in my yard. Love eight, nine yards on first down. <laughs> it was actually, actually where I put it was on the hood. I'm sorry, on the roof, on the driver's side. So when you go to get in the car, you're going to see this big pile of shit sitting on top of the car. So that sent the message. Fuck, he's so slow. And they fly through. They're running like four times faster than my running back is. four down territory although I could kick a field goal and make it a two touchdown game yeah I'll just take the field goal okay. I didn't want to throw a pick in the end zone <coughs> plus we have this stud kicker so we can't uh, let him waste away on the bench man So we threw a pick, they threw a pick, negated each other out. So basically the same as kicking a field goal on the first drive of the half and eating six minutes. So I'll, uh, I'll take a field goal just to eat up all that clock. Get him. There we go. Sack by the linebacker. step pass all right guys be ready quick hey dropped it way to strip it out of there good job all right 
let's buy this QB, keep him in the pocket, cover everybody downfield, see if any of these D linemen can get loose. Oh, what a hit. Nice stop. Do not trust this game. going to turn into a very boring run oriented fourth quarter I'm just going to control the clock move the chains don't throw a pick just march this down the field get a three score lead and pretty much seal the deal here make them throw the ball a lot get some sacks and picks Pretty much the same thing we're going to do with Texas Tech. And they have a guy injured. All right. One of their best linebackers or safeties, whoever it is. Seven tackles. That's a lot of tackles that we just took out of the game. Got our 100 yards rushing. Where's he at? Oh, he's easily. Look at his no problem. Mix it up a little because they're going to start run blitzing. Really looking square here. Got to watch that safety. Hold the ball. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Give him to his 100 yards. He's going to lean on this guy. Move the chains, eat the clock. That's my mantra, right, guys? Move the chains, eat the clock. And now our backup, who's not loose, is in the game. That's all right. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, that's their guy. Damn. All right. I thought we lost somebody for two weeks with an abdominal tear, but it's not. It's their guy. All right. We don't have to force this because a field goal makes it a three-score game. I usually like to run this play when I'm further back so I can take deep shots, but it actually works pretty good down close to the red zone, too. Yeah, I just threw that away because I knew we were going to kick a field goal, worst case. They were open great. If not, boom, three score lead. All right. They really haven't done anything since that first drive, have they? Well, we hold them to a field goal, didn't they? So they scored a touchdown later. But they kind of marched through us on that first drive, and then they stalled out. So They haven't done shit in the second half.
I gotta remember to sit up. Ooh, he almost picked that. At the angle, I thought we were gonna steal that pick. Oh wow, what a bad throw. He was so open. I mean they cut they cut Voodoo over there in the end and flipped him so that killed my uh, user pass rush. Yeah, he's wide open. He had at least a two or three yard uh, lead on that guy covering him and he just threw it in the ground. Oh, and then he gets that. Damn. How did this linebacker miss the ball? Cut in front of him. Wow. All right. Let's blitz. Put pressure on these guys. Don't give them a chance to stand back there and look around the field. Here we go. Sacked by tight spot. Getting our DBs in on the action now. Cod Life, hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Oh, what a catch. Wow. There was two guys there. Two guys there. I thought for sure to knock the ball down. Let's cover this half back ourselves. for the screen. All right. <clears throat> Take our linebacker and go get him. There we go. Third and long. Let's go. Let's go. Let's finish this game off. Spy this QB. Got him. Voodoo with the sack. Yes, boys. Yes, we're going to the natty, guys. Should have went last year. Hell, if I could have beat Air Force in week one, we would have gone the year before. All right, 245 is all we got to do. Just kill the clock. They're going to start calling timeouts here soon, so. Time for the offensive line to step up and make some blocks. And not let them go free like that. <clears throat> run hopefully we can get three or four yards and make it a shorter third down pass and I don't have to go you know 10 12 yards on third down there we go first down and more they didn't even bother calling timeout Wow. I think they gave up, guys. They gave up. <laughs> he was wearing the ball in his hand like a glove. That was pretty funny. Yeah. 
This feels like that ULM uh, national championship game where I ran <coughs> with that running back almost every play in the second half. I feel like Frank the Tank. for you, Frank. <laughs> yep, this ball game is over. Boom. Yeah, we'll kick a field goal to end the game. We'll run the ball one more time, and then we'll kick a field goal, and we'll be done. Got him over 150. Five-yard average. We'll take that. There you go, 30 to 10. Check these game stats. Yeah, he was efficient. He didn't get any touchdowns, but that we didn't need him to. We just needed to control the clock, which we did. Receiving was okay. Blocking several pancakes, including two for Cincy. This was it right here. We got all those five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten TFLs, six sacks, and two picks. Defense came to play. We're getting the uh, schedule fixed here. On the Cotton Bowl, yeah, we'll throw it in with that. Now we get a coach upgrade, so let's get that taken care of so I don't forget about it. All right, so now we have to save. and go through this whole process of moving files back and forth again. So, give me one second here, guys.
All right. While we do that, we'll throw up the uh, throw up the schedule page real quick and review what we've done so far in the season here. While I wait for this to uh, get to a point where I can uh, move these files over. And here's our uh, depth chart. So these guys are all graduating. These are all new users coming in. Um, hopefully Gucci will be good to go next year. Got a lot of DM. We've got a ton of linebackers. I know uh, Jimbo's going to come in with an 80 overall outside linebacker. Um, we may end up moving him to middle. But we have two outsides and two middles that are in the low 80s, high 70s. So we're we're good. We don't have to recruit any more guys. Um, here. All right, let's do this again. Good, 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 good. So this is where you're at here, Jimbo. So this is a perfect time. This is how you copy your save files onto your flash drive to go put them on the, uh, in the tool. So you come to uh, Multiman, load Multiman. So it's going to show you the game right here. Hit Triangle. Go to File Manager. Go up here. Use your right stick. Go to PS3 Root. Go to your USB drive. You should already have a PS3 folder on your flash drive. And go in here, and I'm going to delete all these files. Yeah, this is all on PS3, man. So now they're off the flash drive. We go back to the hard drive on the PlayStation. Click on the top one. Click on the top one. Scroll down to home. Click that. Double click it. Go to number number one. Double click it. All the way down to save data. Right stick. Move over here. Double click on date. All right. So now we found the correct dynasty right here. Double click that. Hit circle. X to copy. Circle. X to paste. Rinse and repeat. Circle. Copy. Circle. Paste. I do all of the files just because doing the uh, the just the data one made my mine uh, it made mine lock up. So to be safe, I'm copying every file. This is a PNG file right here. PNG that's like a a graphic file that has no background to it. It's clear. You don't need to worry about that graphic file. You just want to move all the data files. All right, so once we're done all that, we close those up. We come over to games, double click that. And we're done with the PlayStation for now. So let's go back over to my desktop. All right. Now that we're on the desktop, We're going to open the flash drive, go to the PS3. I already have the PS3 file on my desktop, so I'm going to open that again so I can copy and paste. And it's going to tell me, do you want to overwrite? Yes. And just click this, do this for the next four conflicts, and then click copy and replace, and it'll move all the files. 
So we can close those. All right, so now we're going to come back into the college football playoffs. Go back into the four-team playoff. Go to step two. Open the file, which is on your desktop. Hit user data. Once it's done, it should show you the correct championship game matchup. All right, so Cotton Bowl, Orange Bowl. It's going to put us in the Jerry Dome again. I don't want to play in the Jerry Dome. Let's go to the Rose Bowl. Come over here to this uh, heart little icon. Click that to save. Go to the other corner and click that to exit. Click back again. Now you're on the uh, PS3 corrupt file frozen file fix. We're going to click that. Open file. Go back to that user data file. Come on, read the file. Current file path is here. Click fix the file. It's going to encrypt the file. All right, it's been encrypted. Hit the back arrow, so now we're back here. We're going to come back here one more time after we play this game because we have to finish it off and uh, save everything so we can advance to the offseason. Okay? What's up, Mr. Murder? How you doing, man? Hey, perfect timing. We just beat Nebraska in the Cotton Bowl, so now we're going to play our old team at Texas Tech in the uh, BCS Championship game at the Rose Bowl. All right, so now here's my computer. Open up my flash drive. Go back to my desktop. Open up the PS3. All right, so now I'm going to copy this file. Paste. Yes, I want to overwrite for all of them. So now we have all the correct files, and they're uh, encrypted and everything. So now I'm going to take the flash drive out of my computer. We're going to go back to my PlayStation and plug it in. And we're going to switch screens again. My PlayStation's asleep, so I'll give it a second here. All right, so now we're back to the screen. So we're going to hit Triangle. Go back down to File Manager. All right. Left stick moves the window. Right stick moves the arrow. Okay going to go to the PS3 root, which is our flash drive, come down to the USB, double click it, go to PS3, double click it, go into our, uh, into our Dynasty file. Right, now we got to go back and find where it is on our hard drive. So it's back here at home. One. Save data. Sort by date. Click it twice so it gets the newest one. Open up your save file and we're going to delete these files again. No, I don't want to rename it. I want to delete it. There we go. All right, now we go back to the US drive copy and paste copy paste in the YouTube video they're only copying and pasting that user data file but like I said earlier when I did that I got a uh, corrupt file error message and I had to start the whole process over again all right so now we can close this up Gonna go back to games so we can go load the game back in. All right, get on this screen. You just hit X so it'll load the game off the day off the hard drive. And this will give me the icon that looks like the uh, game disc. And then I can load the game and we can play the national championship. All right, here we go, boys. Plug in my uh, controller real quick. And I'm going to go get some uh, water, so...
while this loads, I'm going to give you a uh, be right back screen. So you don't have to stare at my chair. And then I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so this should be fun to play our old team. Their uh, quarterback won the uh, Heisman last year. Um, both their quarterbacks are named Peoples, so we kind of gave it the backstory that it was uh, brothers. So this uh, hopefully this loads. We don't get any lockups or error messages like last time. All right. As long as it doesn't say corrupt data and it loads once it's done reading the file. Now we just gotta wait for the game to load. Hey! Here we go. Alright, now we go under scores and schedules and I'll show you that the uh, it's gonna have us here for the BCS championship game. Both are 14 and 0. <clears throat> and as we scroll down, you're going to see the other two games and it's going to show you the placeholder teams are subbed in for Texas Tech and UCF. Once we play this championship game and we save everything um, and move it back into the editor, it will populate the correct team. So it will show UCF here, it will show Texas Tech there and it will keep the same score up here so it'll take care of itself don't don't worry about it and then we'll advance the week after we play this game we'll advance we'll uh, actually let me double check I'm gonna do this before or after Load game, blah, blah, blah. Play the game, save the dynasty, copy it over. Advance to the end of the bowl season. Okay, so we're going to play this game, do all that saving and moving files, and go back into the tool, finish it off, bring it back, and then we can advance past the bowl game, which means it'll play all the other bowl games. And then uh, we'll be done, and we can go to the off season. <coughs> And you see our quarterback's up to 4,600 yards. So if he throws for 300 and 300 plus yards, he'll get 5,000 on the season. And our uh, our halfback's at 1,371. Let's uh, take a look at this real quick. 44 touchdowns, only nine picks. Man, I usually throw way more picks than that. Look at catch them all. Truth and catch them. Um, let's look at their team real quick. All right. No thousand yard receivers. Looks like they spread it around like we do. Two thousand yard halfbacks. Check that out. And we recruited both of those guys. And their quarterback has 500. So they've got over almost 3,000 yards running. <clears throat> so this guy must have got hurt at some point.
left end. All right. Here we go, boys. Actually, let me fix the sound before so we at least have sound when we go into the game. Turn off auto save. <coughs> All right. All right, so Texas Tech won four straight natties when we were there. We left. They didn't win that first year I was at UCF. Then they did win last year. They beat Southern Miss. So they've won five out of six. So this would be six out of seven for them if they beat us. And I'm going to pick the uniforms for them that I like the most. This one. We're going to go with that one. All right, boys. <coughs> See if we can get this done. Now, Spectre, we didn't upgrade you, did we? Fuck. All right. This is the game that we knew we were going to have to play at some point over the last two seasons. Would have been... Would have been last year had I not uh, got hosed by Tulsa in the third overtime. We would have played them last year. Or we would have played Southern Miss. So we probably would have had a, uh, I don't know if we would have done the playoff last year because we would have had only two undefeated teams. So we get, we, we're we scoring 50 points a game, which is what I said in USN's stream that I wanted to average 50 points a game. So. 500 yards of offense, 343 passing. They're second in points and yards. They're more balanced on offense. They run the ball a lot more. We both only give up 19 points. So it's going to be a big game. And they have no injuries. 95 corner, 93 quarter, 93 strong safety. Our true sophomore quarterback's up to a 91. Olivia Newton-John, our kicker, is 91. Look at that, 96 extra points. <laughs> if we get four touchdowns this game, we'll have scored 100 touchdowns on the season. Cincy Bowen with eight, 17 pancakes. And it's fucking raining. This, I watched Param Crow last night, and he played at the um, Rose Bowl in the BCS Championship for Florida State. And it rained at the Rose Bowl, too. And I'm like, it never rains in Southern California. And it definitely doesn't rain in L.A. This fucking game. Now we got to win a, a greasy game on a wet field. Wonderful. All right. Just add another layer. At least we won the coin toss. Yeah, it's made every kick. We don't kick too many field goals, do we? I kicked two in that game, so we had only five field goals the whole year. <coughs> All right, going balanced, going aggressive. And we're going to uh, attack these guys. Let's see what this QB can do. We know they have the talent. We just got to... Uh, we got to make sure they don't break tackles. This game can get ugly for us in a hurry. We cannot turn the ball over. Ah, went the wrong way. I stunted through the middle and he took it back outside with the uh, counter. Good call. Look at this. I was going to meet him in the backfield and he uh, 
Whoops, went the other way. Yeah, must be. Come on, go down. <coughs> I expect this to probably be a low-scoring game unless uh, we get a rash of turnovers. This is... Uh, This is going to be one where we definitely want to control the clock. Man, if I could have got onto that safety and brought him over to cover the receiver faster, I might have been able to get that ball in the backfield. I was trying to make sure I had someone cover that guy. Couldn't get back over there fast enough. I'm spamming circle, jumping on the wrong guy all over the field. All right, this is definitely the quarterback that won the Heisman. So, like I said, he must have been hurt earlier in the season. <coughs> yeah, I don't know how he got away from that D end. He was out there with him. What I might do is if we have too many good outside linebackers, I might stick some of those guys on D end because they're going to be faster and they're going to have good good tackling and and stuff. And we might be able to uh, use our speed, get around these D linemen. Big play here. We get a stop. We get a stop. That'll get us. Uh... <sighs> Keep them to a field goal. Make this a different game. Oh, he caught it. Fuck, I was trying to jump in front of him. My DB got stuck on his shoulder. He was trying to run in there and jump in front of that and pick it, and he got wedged on his shoulder. Fuck. I thought that was going to be a pick six, man. I was just anticipating that catch by my DB. Whiff. Anyway. Fuck, that interception. Not getting that pick. That was a huge turning point in this drive. All right. It's all right. They killed three minutes off. Boys, do your job. Block for me. I'll take that. Definitely take that. <clears throat> but I have to wiggle so much on that earlier in the uh, the run back. I might have been able to get that closer to 40, <coughs> 40 45 yard line. There you go. Push through. We know this team's basically got no uh, holes in it because this is, what, our third year? So anybody that's a junior or a senior has been uh, redshirted, and they're uh, pretty pretty much maxed out on their development. So, damn. Cut back too hard. I really want to get my running back up to his 100% uh, potential here. So I'm not being conservative. I want to make sure my guy can run the ball when I need to. Okay, he feels much, much looser now, so we're good to go. So now we can start throwing some short passes and get the quarterback going. Good, they're not pressing. All right. Come on, 
There you go, Shadow. Second and inches. feels much better much better we're going to be able to run the ball like you said no turnovers gotta watch the safety so this is either x or square square the truth catch him they sent all three linebackers we caught him in a blitz damn barely slipped off the one guy couldn't get off that one See how this inside run with the inside zone. Push, there we go. Love that play. Those inside zone plays block so well. There we go, there we go. know they don't have any holes on that team at least not with the starters their backups I don't I don't know what their backups look like because they've been recruiting for three years without us but all their juniors and seniors are guys that we recruited so What's funny is if we had stayed and played, we'd be rolling. Uh, we'd be rolling on how many consecutive natties with this team? That'd have been four, five, six. We'd be going for seven in a row with this team, playing with this team. Get him. There we go. They're probably going to get the first down, but that's okay. Make him earn it. Oh, man, he held on. I couldn't tell if he held on to the ball or not because the way he caught the ball and the ball was away from the camera. Got him. There we go. No yards. Still counts as a sack. Let's go to this cover, too. Let's mix it up a little bit. Keep our linebackers a little closer to the line of scrimmage in case they decide to run the ball. Oh, he slipped under. How did he slip under my guy? He ducked his head and slid under me. Wow. We do not have an animation for that, do we? Do Does anybody know how the user can do that? Is that a trigger or a button I need to be pushing to duck my head and slip under them like that? Because we, we never seem to be able to uh, pull that move off. Finally had somebody tell me how to uh, do the step back, so I've only been able to do it once or twice. <clears throat> here we, here we 
Don't forget, we win this game. It's a double shot of tequila, guys. Get the get the day going strong. Oh, he dropped it. Here we go. I haven't had lunch either, so that'll be fun. Speaking of which, let's grab some beef jerky and a snack while this game's playing. Get him. He's slippery. love the animation where they just duck their head and run looking straight at the ground. How the hell do they know where they're going? Wow, nobody saw that ball. <laughs> Neither the wide receiver or the DB was even looking at the quarterback. Jimmy, fuck. Gotta quit hitting circle. All I gotta do is just hit X and the animation will take care of itself. <clears throat> Damn. That's two picks that I've messed up. Oh. This guy loves to run counters. We have him tackled. How does he get the pitch off? He's wrapped up. He's wrapped up. How did he get the pitch off? <sighs> get out of my way. Damn. Ran into my own blocker. I had a hole right there. I could get back to the outside. Here we go. Catch him. Oh, he dropped it. Shit. Threw it just at the right time to squeeze it in in front of the linebacker, and then he drops the ball. Damn. <clears throat> Damn. There we go. Oh, damn. He came over to help block, and then I ran into him. Could have got more yards out of that. <sighs> Boom, what a hit. Got eight yards, though. I'll take eight yards on first down. 
Second, second and two. two. Wow. Nice animation. <laughs> he hit him and he shot backwards like five yards. What the hell was that? There we go. What's up, fam? How you doing, man? Well, onto the ball. Fuck. Yeah, we're playing our old team at Texas Tech in the Natty here, so. Taking the points. Fucking catch the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. This is going to be a tough one. We can't have our guys dropping passes and not looking for the ball, um, especially on third down. So now I got to play tough D here and not give up another touchdown before half. If we hold them to a field goal and get get the ball back before halftime, that's fine. We get the ball to start the second half, so hopefully we can uh, limit the damage here. Don't want to go down 11. But if they're going to score a touchdown, I want it to be fast so that... Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. Not like this, though. Hey, I said give it up fast, right? Hey, we recruited that dude. I should have known better. Man, now we got plenty of time to go back down here and score a touchdown, so let's go. We take it to half, being down four, that'll be good. We get the ball to start the second half, get another one. All right, not block. Give me time. Of course not. <laughs> Yeah, he was Bam's backup the last year that we were there. Throw the ball! God, did you see this? Oh, did you see this? I'm spamming X. Look, there's no one on him. I'm hitting X right here. I'm I'm spamming X, and he just stands. I could have hit O. Either guy was open, and it wouldn't let me throw the ball. Circle and square. Oh, did you see that one-handed catch? Wow, he just reached out there and snagged it. Watch this catch. Just this casual one-hander. Look at this. Oh, thank you. go I don't need to be in too big of a hurry here I was just trying to get 
chunk yards early in the uh, in the in the drive. Fuck, we would have been all the way out to this point right now if I could have made that first pass. Here we go. Get the first down. <coughs> game game wants me to go deep on these guys, and I don't want to get carried away too early and turn the ball over. I already had to kick a field goal instead of getting a touchdown, so. That's pretty much the same as a turnover as far as I'm concerned. If it was like fourth and two or fourth and one, I'd have just gone for it, but I didn't want to do it with three yards. Push, push, get the first down. Right, third inches. Yep. And unless we lose like four yards on this play, we're definitely going for it on fourth down if we don't get it, which, of course, it brings in my backup, who's slow as shit. We run the same offense we've been running all year, and if they want to press, we'll go deep. I'm still looking at Breezy over the middle. Oh, hold on to the ball. Damn. <clears throat> we cannot have drop passes. I know it's raining and it probably affects the game, but we can't do that. <clears throat> All right, let's make this third manageable, and maybe they'll miss the tackle, and we'll get a first down out of this. Third and eight's okay. Fall out of bounds. You give me the, I know a clock stopped because it's first down. I got three timeouts. I'm not too worried, but I want to know if it stopped the clock. Nope. Didn't stop the clock. Didn't get him out of bounds. That's okay. We can hit X, X and R1. There we go. <coughs> now with three timeouts, we can we can run when we want to. Like right now. Look at this. I didn't want to get hit and fumbled, so we we're just running straight out of bounds. Certainly didn't want to uh, make one of those crossbody throws and have the linebacker pick it off either. I'm looking at X and Triangle here. Only two guys I'm looking at. And then he throws a pick anyway. Jesus Christ. Well, if we hold them to a field goal, that's better than a touchdown, right? The turning point in the game. <clears throat> Shit, the turning point in the game was me kicking a field goal.
Oh man, how did he miss that ball? No! God! Fuck! No fucking way! He got hit three times at the 10 yard line and he still goes forward and scores a touchdown? Get the fuck out of here! All right, no more trying to uh, not make a mistake. We're just going to fucking air it out now. Go, get on the ball. Get on the ball. Catch them all, might get 200 yards receiving in the second half. Let's go. Get on the ball. That makes it first and ten. Mike 50, Mike 50. You're one of one. Everybody see it. Pick up the ball. Ten. Come on. Snap the ball. There we go. Thirty eight seconds. Broke Dante Culpepper's uh, career put, uh, passing touchdowns record. <clears throat> now we gotta fucking play defense. We need two stops and we're going to win this game.
There we go. There's one. We are not going to fucking lose this game. was completely covered I don't call that play very often anyway so I wasn't really uh, confident what we were gonna do we can go this one though <clears throat> Ooh, right over that linebacker's shoulder Maybe that wasn't the wide receiver. That's a touchdown if that's a wide receiver and not the uh, tight end. Yeah, we've passed enough now. They have an extra DB on the uh, field and they don't have the linebackers, so now we can go back to running the ball a little bit because we're only two scores down. I didn't fumble on that one. I don't like to dive. <clears throat> Let's see. See if they cover square. This will be X right over the middle. Go boys. I'm not going for two. We're scoring touchdowns. Alright guys, one more stop. One more stop. Remember it was twenty eight to ten. Tackle him. Yeah, I had a feeling that drop was coming. Last time I went flying right through the hole and missed him, and they went right up the middle for a touchdown. So. Tried to be a little more conservative on that play. <clears throat> oh, got picked. I had a guy on him, was going to go get him, and I got picked off.
Field goal wouldn't be the worst thing. That put me down seven. Get him. Yes, 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 yes. We're going fake field goal defense here. Don't trust him. Oh, and he's got a baby leg revamp. That's not who we that's not who we recruited kicker. Wow. Mike 50, Mike 50. Roger, Roger. Check three, check three, check three. Ready. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I should have audible. That was poor choice on my part. Let's see if we can get 10 yards back right here. Huh? Let's get 15. What the hell? Got our 100 yards rushing. <clears throat> get the go, get the go. Second and five. Let's just keep running the ball, see if we can get a third and short so we can do whatever we want. Here we go. First down. All right, square should be open. Yep. Nope. X. Oh, and it got deflected. Damn. X was open. Hawk, come on. Wide receivers got to do a better job of blocking there. He just threw him off. Just threw him off. X and L. There you go. Catch him. Way to go. Nice burst there once he made his cut. Man, he was up the field fast. All right, that'll take us to the fourth quarter. Seven more minutes, guys. Seven more. We already know their kicker sucks, so. There we go, Truth. There we go. Man, 
left, man, left. Four down, four down. Hey, no, look, we got, hey, we got Mike 50, Mike 50, huh? Yeah. Hey, easy, easy. Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. Check 90. Him, check him, check him. First and goal. All right, the guards, guards got to cover these linebackers. They're going to come crashing down. There we go. Got the lead, boys. Yep, yep, yep. That inside zone play blocks, usually blocks really well. Really well. So if you're looking for plays to run up the middle, that's in the uh, regular spread playbook. Get some good blockers and then run that play. Shit, we don't even have our offensive line goaded out yet. We know these guys have the talent <clears throat> to pass the ball on offense. So we can't get too carried away with the run here. Damn. Wow, there's like six guys in that one spot. Get him. There we go. That's why you blitz. Even on first down, man. He had no time at all, and we were in there and got him before he could scramble out. Overload their blockers. Boom. If I let this guy sit back there and uh, have all day to throw, I'm going to get picked apart right and left. Go down. Jesus. You got hit four times. Let's count the let's count it. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Jeez. And then he goes forward for three yards after he gets hit. Got him. Fourth and five. They got a punt. We got to run the fake, fake punt defense here. Oh, they're going for it. I'd go for it. Got him. Yes. <laughs> Run that stunt with the D tackle outside to keep him inside. Boom. Down he goes. Now we can control the clock. Take three minutes to get down here. I've run this amount of time off from this point on the field before. So we're going to take the entire 40 second clock. We're not going to snap until it gets under four minutes. <sighs> 28 to 10, guys. Halftime. Let's go. Dominate the second half. Let's go.
That's fine. That's another 30, 30, 40 seconds that runs off the clock. And we'll just run this inside zone again until they stop us. Look, they're spread out for the pass. Offensive line has to do their job. Eat this clock. Go down, go down. Thank you. Just kind of boring football, but it's Frank the Tank smash mouth, man. Just eat the clock, right, Frank? Eat the clock. Do not let them have the ball back. If we can get four or five on this play, we'll be in good shape. Go down, thank you. Don't want to score. Make them use their timeouts now. timeouts at this point. Alright, they're out of timeouts. We got to get this third down. We got to get at least three yards. We're still running because I want to eat this clock down. So very likely I'll just go ahead and go for it on fourth down rather than kick the field goal. There we go. Game over. <laughs> take that all the way down burn as much as we can they may just let us the way they're playing right now they want us to score a touchdown run into the pile so I can burn more time there goes another it'll be under a minute left after I get this This will be uh, four down territory. We are going to score a touchdown or they're going to have to go 99 yards to win the game with no timeouts. I'm not throwing the ball like I did against Clemson and throw a pick. We're just going to pound this in the middle until this fucking game's over with. Boom. 28 straight points, guys. 28 point second half. They have 48 seconds to score 10 points with no timeouts. <laughs> 
Don't play quarterbacks. Bye. We know they're not going to run. They'll do us a favor. <laughs> no, we earned this, baby. Beat two, two top five teams. Thank you, Spectre. Thank you. We got to put your points in your guy, too. I totally forgot. Mac Dub. Fucking right, I am. Bit him. Yeah, there we go. Sit down. Look how far they have to run down the field to get back there. We're not even going to blitz. We're just going to do this. That's right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Snap the ball. One more play. And then I'm going to do something you guys never see me do. Let's go, Voodoo. He's down. Turnover. Here we go. Take a picture. I never do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I think the only natty that didn't feel better than this was the first one at Texas Tech. The very first one we won at Texas Tech felt great. The other three in a row kind of felt like, yeah, we expect this. This one was work, man. This one was work. Thank you, George. Thank you, Mac Dub. Thank you, Blue. <sighs> I can beat these guys. Beat our own team. I'll let that go for a little bit so I can get the schedule up and update it. 3828. Update the graphic, the schedule graphic. I'll post that out on Twitter. Second, you guys. There it is. There's our season. Yeah, I know. Give me one second, I'll go do that. Yeah. All right, let's look at these stats real quick. <clears throat> 262, two touchdowns, one pick, two sacks. 132 and three more touchdowns for Andrew Collins. Dude comes out of nowhere to be our MVP of this team. Catch them all with another fucking great game. Look at all those TFLs. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine TFLs. Four sacks. No picks. Actually... Look at that. They scored that touchdown in the half, and they didn't sniff it the rest of the game. Dobzinski and Collins took over. And none of those were deep passes. Those were marching down the field and getting inside the 10-yard line. Yes. It really makes me mad about the Tulsa game because we would have had a shot last year too. <clears throat> Says slam dunk. They said I made it look easy. I don't think so. <laughs> 
Second half heroes overcomes a bad first half. I wouldn't say it's a bad first half. There we go. Maybe I will put that on there. That's a cotton bowl. We don't want the cotton bowl. We want this one. throw that on social media for you guys. Alright, so now we have to save this game and do all this rigmarole again about um, moving the files so we can finish the season. And then we can go back to normal and we don't have to do this until we get to the end of the year. So if there's two clear teams going for the uh, national championship at the end of the year, we won't do this again. We're only going to do this if there's multiple teams that deserve to play. So, all right. So. <coughs> what did he finish with? Wow, we were 57 yards short of 5,000. Right. So let's exit out of this game. go here <sighs> my capture card hates hates when I turn the game off all right Tell you what, I'll be right back. UCF's first legitimate. Here we go. Yes. Every time, Mac Dub, every time we win a natty. <clears throat> I forgot. I forgot one time I had to do it at the start of the season the next year. So that makes nine. So let's get this over with so we can be done with this tool. I had this uh, weird humming in my ear from the uh, <clears throat> a 
from the uh, capture card. It's driving me nuts. Copy, paste. All right, all of that is moved over. <clears throat> Pop this out, put it in. Copy, paste, overwrite, yes, boom, good to go. All right, go back into the playoffs, go back to the four team, go to finalize the playoffs, open the file, use the data file. I will take a screenshot of this one right there. Stop. All right. So once you get to this point, all right, this point you hit save. All right. Go back. Go back. Come back into the. Uh, Corrupt file editor, go back to where the file is. This is why if we do this again, I will do the setup for the first week. Off stream, we'll just jump right into the first playoff game. All right, now we can close this. And now we can open up, open that up, e, paste, yes, do it for all four, good to go. Right. Now we're going to go back to the PlayStation with the flash drive. Triangle, File Manager, PS3 root, open the USB file, open my save file, go back to the hard drive, go to the very first folder, the very first folder, home, one, save data, sort by date, double click it, open, these copy paste almost done guys Load it back in, load the game, we're good to go. <clears throat> While that's loading, I'm gonna go out on Twitter and post that shit out there. Hold on, I gotta crop this photograph first on my phone, but. 
not going to be the uh, clearest photograph, but what the hell. Alright, load the game. Let's go. I don't want to connect. Let's load the game. <clears throat> Alright. All right, I posted that, so that'll be out on Twitter for you guys. Now, we have to come back in here and load this file in. And we can advance the week, which will send the rest of the bowl games, and then we're done. We're not done with the stream, but we're done with this, this uh, tool. What? What? The fuck just happened? Hold on. Did I forget to do the uh, corrupt file? Let's try this. Good file. I still have the file over here. <sighs> All right, that's good. It has me with the championship. The file on my computer still has me with winning, so that's good. We didn't fuck anything up. So, one second while we load this in here and uh, redo this save again. I'll do it as quick as I possibly can. Feeling that chat, boys. Definitely feeling that chat since I haven't eaten much for lunch.
Try this again. Apparently I must not have encrypted that so it didn't read it right, <clears throat> but uh, it's taken care of now, so deal with this. Thank you guys for being so patient with this. I know it's a convoluted fucking pain in the ass thing to deal with, but I wanted you guys to see exactly what I have to go through to do this for the PlayStation. So you'll know why I don't want to do this uh, every year. <laughs> I'm going to throw that schedule graphic out on Twitter too. Give me a second. I'm going to have to unplug the capture card because that's why there's no sound. <clears throat> so in the future, we just need to make sure we kick everybody's ass and we don't have to deal with this playoff. Right? There's no way I would do this with an 18 playoff because we'd have two extra rounds to deal with. No, or at least one extra round to deal with. One extra round to deal with. There's no no way I would deal with this another round. <laughs> Fuck that. So I guess the whole thing is to uh, make sure I upgrade my computer so I could play on the computer next time. But I've seen Mac Dub with his emulator crapping out on him and having to replay games, so... Don't know that I want to do that either. Show me the right board. Show it to me. It should say we beat Texas Tech. Don't. Don't fucking do this. God damn. Guess what? All right, we'll go to this screen while I do all this bullshit again. Now my instructions, shit, I might have to take another shot of tequila just for the fucking bullshit I'm having to go through. Copy to save data from the USB to the PC, go to the utility tool, pick step three, double check results, click save, back out, copy save data back to the USB, copy to the PS3 hard drive, advance to the end of the bowl season and check results. Well, we can't get to the end of the bowl season to check results. Alright, so we saved there. Exit out of there. Exit out of there. Oh, 
One sec, guys. For whatever reason, it doesn't like, didn't want to, uh, the, the picture I took of the, uh, of the bracket didn't work, didn't save it. All right, so one sec. There's the tool. Fourteen playoff, finalized playoffs, open file, load file. Yeah, we're having trouble finishing off the season. Game's done. The game is done, but it won't pull up the uh, the correct point in the season. So, exit out. Exit out. Make sure we encode it. All right, good to go there. Let's do it this way. Yeah, it is a total pain in the ass, I can guarantee that. <laughs> All right, wake up. There we go. All right. Booting up the PlayStation. So let's just go to a just chatting page. <clears throat> so, man, I'm sweaty after that game. I was not happy when I was down 18 points, but when I stopped talking and start focusing on the game, it's fucking game over. I'm sorry, but. can go back to the regular cam so you can see what's going on. So we enabled hen. Now I got to do multi-man. Then we can go back in, move the files again for the third straight time. Did it lock up? It locked up again. A bitch. All right. The joys of the utility tool. Shit doesn't work the way it's supposed to. I know they're trying to do a do us a favor and give us something we really want, but there's so many technical glitches. Hopefully I will never ever have to use this again. You guys remember I tried to use this with Texas Tech and uh it was a fucking nightmare. I had to stop my stream and start it up again later. So all I want to do at this point is uh get to the off season so we can finish up this recruiting and uh Set our schedule in our depth charts and we'll call it a day and uh, come back tomorrow or Thursday and start up the next season. So.
Come on. So while we're waiting for this garbage, and you guys watching the Olympics at all? Normally I watch a whole bunch of the Olympics, but I, I haven't really watched hardly anything lately. Did see some beach volleyball, did see some uh, badminton, saw some men's volleyball. Um, wife and daughter like watching the, uh, the gymnastics and the swimming, but uh, I've been too busy. Too busy. Ever since I got on Twitch, I kind of stopped watching real sports, and I watch you guys play on stream instead of watching real sports. Isn't that funny? Whole lot less, a whole lot less politics and more just playing the game and enjoying the game. We all get to chat, right? It's kind of like we're at the game together. <clears throat> I used to watch everything. Last fall was the first World Series I haven't watched since 71. So from 72 all the way through the year before last, I watched every World Series, even if my team wasn't in there, even if I hated both teams in the series like the Dodgers and the Yankees. And I had no interest whatsoever. And once the Blues lost in the playoffs, I stopped watching the hockey playoffs too. And don't ask me the last time I watched an NBA game. Um, and if it wasn't for fancy football, I wouldn't watch the NFL at all. <clears throat> all right, it's booted back up as you can hear the sound. The worst part is, with all the COVID stuff, we, we don't have any good movies out. To watch struggling to find movies to watch because I would watch movies but um, and I'm sure you've seen that I have prime gaming as one of my icons in your chat I uh, I set that up so that I could uh, I could watch prime video so if you're on prime video I would recommend watching the series on the pen failed to boot let's try this again um, they have a series on the uh, state of Texas following the Alamo that has uh, Bill Paxton in there and uh, what's the guy's name that played Negan and um, guy played Negan in Walking Dead he, uh, he's in there too I would recommend that it's like 8 or 9 episodes long I also watched one on the Civil War so you get to see if, you're, if that interests you history yeah Jeffrey Morgan he was in there he did really well um, the one on the on the Civil War was really good. I have this. I have a thick, huge, hardback paperback book, or not paperback hardback book that's like this big that I got when we went to Chattanooga one year on vacation, and uh, has the tons of pictures and history of the Civil War. Hey, all right, hen loaded, so that's good. So now we can go load multi man. And uh, there's another movie, I think I even tweeted it out, that has Chris Pratt. Um, that one's a really good movie. I enjoyed that one. They're all on Prime Video, so highly recommend those. <clears throat> I'm probably going to watch the documentary they have on Doc Holliday. Um, they had a couple others I was going to look to. One of my favorite movies is... Uh, Favorite movies is Tombstone with Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. Fucking Val Kilmer got totally hosed out of a uh, Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Not to mention you get to look at Dana Delaney on there too. She's pretty hot, but... Val was on fire. He made, he, he was so much better than even Top Gun. I liked him in Top Gun, but he really wasn't that much of a main character. I mean, he, he was a supporting character to Cruise, but he could have been basically a main character in this movie too. All right. Let's delete this one more time. I'll put you on the camera so you can see what I'm doing.
this doesn't work. We'll just call it a day and I'll try and figure it out and finish it off stream and won't torture you guys with watching this bullshit all day. The file says it's done. The tool says it's done. I've done everything that it's supposed to do. You go back in, you load in the tool, you go to it, yeah, it's done, you hit save, you move on. Update that stuff on your flash drive, update the stuff on the hard drive. And of course we got that buzzing sound in my ear again. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna redo my uh, graphics, my uh, capture card. All right. It should be. I I did everything. I re-encrypted it and everything. So we should be good to go. I just needed to uh read the file, which it did, and then load the game. It's not loading the game and pulling up the correct save file. This doesn't work. I'm going to take another double shot on camera for you, and then I'm going to go take a break before I have to go cut the backyard. I don't want to be trash trying to cut a yard and cut my foot off or some bullshit. Let's go. No, I don't want to connect to the servers. There's no need to connect to the servers. Just read this file. It's not telling me it's corrupt. So. No problem, Spectre. It, it, hopefully it'll work and we'll be good. I know you have 10 points coming. All right. Yay. Show me the right one. Fuck. All right. I'm missing a step in here. I've got to be missing something. All right. We're just going to call it a day, and I'll figure this out, and we'll start the next stream at that point. So, tell you what, let's go hit up USN, and I'll send you guys off to, uh, but it's got the wrong one. It's got the wrong matchup. It should say I played Texas Tech. And now it says I won. All right, so maybe you're right, MacDub. Maybe I just need to advance the week. So maybe it was okay before and I wasted all your time. Let's find out. It had the score. We're just going to advance. I still have the save file, so I jack it up. I can go back to this point. So we're okay. Let's just do an experiment. Yeah, that's possible. In fact, I'm popping this out of the drive, so so we still have everything fine. So maybe once we get past this, it'll say the right thing. Cross your fingers, man. It's getting very frustrating. And... I, I really appreciate the work these guys are doing to try and make this stuff work for us because you know we want this stuff in the game, but goddamn, it should not be this difficult. And I didn't turn off uh, autosave, so it's going to autosave this. So that's why we still have this. We can always return to this point. This is where we have to go through all of our red shirts and make sure those guys are uh, high in the depth charts so we don't lose them. I would highly, <clears throat> highly recommend if you guys do that, save the game right here. Um, well, the next week, once we get past the bowl week and we're in the off season, save it. So that if you forget 
you miss one of your uh, redshirted freshmen, you can go back and fix it. Look at that. Our quarterback broke Pat Mahomes' quarterback ranking. Holy shit. Wow, that's impressive. Collins broke the school record for rushing touchdowns, career rushing touchdowns. Passing, broke his own passing touch, passing yards, passing touchdowns mark. School, he broke Culpepper in two years. He broke Culpepper's touchdown mark. Catch them all, broke that. Truth, broke the touchdowns. Pin packed, 11 picks. Dude had 11 picks in this one season. That's not career, that's one season. So frustrating. Hey, it has us at number one, 15 and 0. Let's go. So it has us beating Nebraska. Sausage Biscuit, hey, thank you for the follow, man. <clears throat> so we beat Nebraska in the semifinal. And we beat our old school in the championship game, and it has both of them correct. We should have one more game down here with Texas Tech beating Georgia. What do you know? It worked. Final top 25. We're number one. They stayed two. Kansas. Fucking Kansas is three. Get out of here. Kansas sucks. Get out of here. I'd put a 10 and 3 Notre Dame over an 11 and 2 Kansas any day. Kansas, get the fuck out of here. We're going to put them on the schedule next year so they can beat their ass. All right, to recap, Heisman was our backup halfback who stepped in in week two when Gucci broke his vertebrae and is out for the year. How many All-Americans did we get? Quarterback, halfback. <laughs> Three offensive linemen for Texas Tech. Voodoo Hendricks, D-tackle, middle linebacker, outside linebacker. Pimpact, the other corner. Strong safety. And truth. Second team, catch them all. That's a, that's a major sham. He had 1,500 yards receiving. Jimmy Two Bleasy, second team All American. There you go, Jimmy. Freshman All American. Our left guard, who's an 80. Pimpact. Dude's a redshirt freshman. He had 11 picks. Now, what does it say on our championship contender page? This should be straight ones. Seven. I think we're the seventh best team. All right. So, step chart. All right, I got to bring my spreadsheet up so I can see what we're supposed to be doing here. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> we have three redshirt freshman wide receivers. So, they all need to go one, two, and three. So, Grim. This guy, and there's another 77 down here. All right, we have a 79 junior tight end. We'll stick him in there just so he doesn't decide to leave for some stupid reason. We have a 77 freshman left tackle. Wrong guy. Damn it. This is the guy. I don't care about the junior. All right. We have a 73 senior. I'm sorry, 73 freshman that we need to put in here so we don't lose him because we have a 
the junior that's backing up Cincy Bowen. Yeah, I'm not worried about those guys. Let me see. Let me scroll down a page here. We have a sophomore left end that we don't want to lose. And we're going to put the freshman that's a 76 behind him. Right end, we have a 74. All right, D-tackle, we have a 77. Mr. Murder, we don't want to lose him. And we have a 76. So we have an 84 junior D-tackle and an 83 senior. The senior is going away, and behind those two, before we do training, we have a 77 freshman that's being redshirted, 76 sophomore redshirt, 76, 77 sophomore redshirt, and a 76 freshman that's being redshirted. Oh, man. These fucking bots. <clears throat> Left outside linebacker. We have, a, we have an 81 junior that's being redshirted. And I'm going to put him third because I don't want the freshman to go. So what I'm going to do is bump this freshman up to one. Middle linebacker, we don't have anybody to worry about. Although, I am worried. I do have some... You know what? I'm not going to worry about those guys. We have two redshirt freshmen. They've already had their red shirt that are 73s. And we're replacing those guys with guys in the uh, low 80s, high 70s. So if they leave, fucking they can go. I don't care. Save me the trouble of cutting them. All right. So right outside linebacker, we're going to move... Specta to one, and we're going to put the 73 sophomore that's being redshirted two, and the senior we don't worry about. Cornerback, we have two seniors, so we're going to put. I'm going to worry about the highest overall ones first. So we want the 83, who's now an 84, Pimpack, to go there. We want the. 81 to go there, then the 76 red shirt, seventy three red shirt, and then the 76 sophomore. Where do you go? All right, that's fine. Um, free safety, we're good because we have two freshmen behind the senior. Strong safety, we have to. Where do you go? Dark Devil is there, but we're going to flip him to number one. I just want to make sure they're both listed. And our kickers were good. All right. <clears throat> so, auto save is turned on, so that actually saves me a little bit of trouble. Damn, I'm really feeling that shot, boys. I need lunch. All right, so. This is what we've done with this team so far. 12-1, and one, and that was the first, ga first game at UCF. We lost to Air Force. 11-2, and two, that was the triple overtime loss to Tulsa, and then the uh, bowl game loss to Clemson. And then 15-0. and 0. So we have a big seven-year extension. So I'm telling you right now, Franchise Gaming, welcome in. Dude, we just won the Natty against my old Texas Tech team. We were down 28-10 at half and beat them 38-28. Anyway, so what I'm saying here is if we win three more Natties, we're out of here. Maybe even before then, but we'll see. We got a lot of people who redeemed that are going to be freshmen, so I want to play at least three years of your guys' career before we're out of here. Um, you don't want to see me play <laughs> at one school as a six-star with my recruiting because it's it's broken. So we'll leave and go somewhere else and start all over. That's more of a challenge for me than just staying here and seeing how many we can win in a row because that becomes no fun. All right, let's turn this autosave off. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I've won five straight with Army in sim only. Five straight. 
I had 66 players rated four star and five star that had me on their board. I don't even need to look at anybody below a four star. <laughs> yeah, if I if I just started at a school like Ohio State. Fuck. All right, let's go get these two linebackers and this uh, strong safety. We still need the strong safety. Doesn't matter if we get the DN or not. But we definitely want these these three guys. I should get another upgrade too. All right. So when I was testing this out, I simmed through the playoffs to make sure everything worked. And I beat Texas Tech. And I can't remember what the score was. And I went to the coaching carousel. Iowa fired their coach. And I told, I know I told Jimmy we would go to Iowa, um, but you guys just redeemed players, so we're not going to Iowa. But I want to see what's available in here. So let's see if Tennessee steals one of our uh, coordinators. Hopefully not Manny, because he's goaded out. All right, they hired Bowling Green. No wonder Tennessee sucks. They go after Bowling Green's head coach. So Penn State wants me, Maryland wants me. Penn State stole our defensive coordinator, which sucks because I think he was goaded out, so we're going to have to get a new defensive coordinator. There it is, Jimmy. If you're in here, Iowa wants me, finally. It's too bad. We're going to have to wait. And I want to go to Iowa just as much to play with those all yellow uniforms as Jimmy wants me to go there so I can win with his team. I would hi they hired James Franklin. North Carolina wants me, Washington wants me. Well, North Carolina is going to get to see me because we're going to change conferences. Look at this. Toledo. Let it go to Toledo. Okay, we're just going to sim the end. I just showed you enough. I showed you what I saw, which was Iowa finally fired their coach, which is where we wanted to go after Texas Tech, but I had to go three years into UCF before we did it. So we'll stay here and see if we can win four in a row, and then we'll then we'll figure out where we can go. If Iowa's open, then we'll go to Iowa. If Iowa's not open, we'll find somebody else. I have not played in the Big Ten in forever so that's where i'm going to be looking to go is the big 10. so even if it's ohio state we'll go to ohio state okay <clears throat> but we're not going right now we're going to move central florida to the acc and put them in the same conference same division as florida state miami florida and clemson so we get to play those guys every year Let's go. Advance. Man. Players leaving. Did we miss somebody? Yeah, this D tackle wants to go. He wants to go to Oregon. Even though we moved him up the depth chart. Let's see if we can keep him around. Nope, he's gone. He's off to Oregon. Fucker. Hey, we just want a natty. I'm going to Oregon. So we don't have very many high overall guys to get drafted, but that's okay. But look, Dobzinski, um, Unknown Music, Jimmy Too Bleasy. I actually wish I had Madden 25 to, to uh, take some of these players and move them over. I had a, a senior class at Army of, was it 11 or 16? I put it on George's Discord. The entire senior class for Army got drafted in the first round. Look real quick. Yeah, I had 11 first round picks on that Army team. 
All 11 seniors went in the first round. It's fucking crazy. <clears throat> Nobody wants to transfer here because we don't have any uh, scholarships available. So let's go to the next stage. <sighs> Man. Thank God that worked. I can tell you, I hope I never have to do that again. So let's just kick everybody's ass and be number one, and we'll play whoever number two is. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm number one and there's three undefeated teams, number three is hosed because we're not playing the playoff tool. All right, let's get this. We don't need this guy. I'm not putting any points on him, but if we get him, that's great. So if we get him, that's great. <clears throat> this guy we might have to put a little more than 5,000 on him. Let's start with 5,000 because we're already 1,500 back and these two teams ahead of us are pretty good. So maybe we go with 6,000. I wish there was a faster way to do this. This takes so long. You should be able to like bring up a pad and type in the number. <clears throat> And since he, if you're still in here, I need to get together with you sometime so we can, uh, so we can get my uh, stuff set up so I can play music in the background. So at least, worst case is I I put together a Spotify playlist of songs that I like, and we can have that running in the background. So we actually have something instead of dead air. Uh, right now, I know I have the the thing set to uh, have no no sound because it bleeds through my, my speakers whenever I'm not playing so <sighs> I need the strong safety more than a middle linebacker but this I'm greedy so this is what we've already got so far let's go by position so we have a 74 overall quarterback with 79 speed, 84 throw power. So he's pretty much the same as the quarterback that we have right now. We have the 68 fullback with 83 speed. <clears throat> we have these three wide receivers, 90 speed, 82 route running. 92 speed, 78 route running. 88 speed, 75 route running. He might not make the team. We'll see. Got an 83 speed tight end with 83 catching, 82 spec catch. This guy's going to be a stud. We have one tackle. We actually need two. This guy's not bad. One of these guards is probably going to get moved to tackle, or one of the guards we already have on the team will get moved to tackle. At right tackle, I'm sorry, at right guard, we have two freshmen that have already been redshirted, so I might move one of those to tackle and uh, leave this guy at guard. Defensive end, we have one junior, two juniors, so we're replacing that. So we really don't need Jenkins, but if we get him, then we'll just cut Flores. Don't need a D tackle because even though that freshman left, we still have a senior a freshman and two juniors so that'll give us a chance to go after two or three D tackles this next year outside linebacker we lost two seniors so they're getting replaced by these two guys look at that 80 this is this is a revamps player Jimbo this is your guy 87 speed 96 excel 88 pursuit 80 hit power 85 tackle this is your guy this is another guy replacing another senior <clears throat> Although, Jimbo, I might have to move you to middle. But we've got a 79 and a 71, and we're trying for these other two. Worst case is the 71 gets cut. But we've got a middle with 80 speed, 83 tackle. We're trying for this guy with 80 speed, 84 tackle, 84 pursuit. And this guy's a little slow, but he has 85 tackle, 83 hit, 84 pursuit, 85 play rack. So we won't need any linebackers for the next three years. 
We do have one corner. We have two graduating, but we have added one because we already have five underclass, with the oldest class being a junior. And two of them are sophomores, two of them are, are freshmen, so we don't really need a whole lot. But 93 speed, 85 man, 84 zone, that'll work. Do need this strong safety. It's not, it's not the end of the world if we don't get him. Our starter was a junior, so he'll be a senior. And we have, um, I think Specta is the, uh, the backup. He's an 81 freshman with being redshirted, so he'll step in as 86. I might have to make him the starter over the senior. So that would be good to get this guy just to redshirt him. And then this athlete is a quarterback, 88 speed, 84 throw power, 80 carry, 89 elusive. He could play running back. He doesn't have good juke, though. And he can play corner with 83 man E5 zone. So, And he's got 86 return. Ready for a visit. Yeah, well, you guys aren't coming in. It's too late. Should have come in sooner. All right, this is where we're going to roll. I know I was long-winded, took forever. This is where we are before this. <clears throat> we're at number three behind Notre Dame and Kentucky of all schools. Florida State's going to be in our division. Clemson's going to be in our division. So let's forward this and see what happens. We don't need all four, but that would be... Wonderful, especially since that one D-end. We actually could move a D-end into uh, D-tackle to replace the freshman that left. This is why George loves to over-recruit D-line, because sometimes they leave early on you and you don't, <clears throat> don't want them to, and then you have a hole. But if you have uh, three defensive tackles and three defensive ends, you're covered, and it's not a big deal. I know I like to give him trouble for it, but he's actually pretty smart for over-recruiting it. Defensive line, because just like offensive line, you can never have enough of those guys. All right, so we got the strong safety, and we got the good middle. We didn't get the other two, so that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We got a top five class. Yeah, I, I definitely try to keep five D tackles. With one of them being redshirted. So we finished number four. So not bad. Not bad at all. And look up at the top. Now we're a four-star prestige. So we'll start getting some even better recruits come want to come play for us. Here. Let me let me throw some music in here because it's even boring for me to listen to this. <laughs> Dead air. Once I get music in here, you may or may not like it because I have a wide variety from 70s rock to 80s dance music to hip hop. I'll listen to Nelly, I'll listen to Metallica, Godsmack. Revenge Sevenfold, love those guys. All right. Lou and George love this day, this part here. Position changes. We can dig in here and figure out who needs to be where. We know this athlete is a quarterback. 78 quarterback, 78 running back. 73 corner, 77 free. All right, so that's our starter. This is our uh, guy that was the backup. This is our athlete we just recruited. This is the other quarterback we got. So this Jeremy Johnson dude's getting cut. He's getting cut, and we're not going to redshirt Bo Butler, but we're going to redshirt these two guys. Right? So Williams will be the backup for one year, and then he's going to start. Halfbacks are good. This guy... We didn't recruit this guy. A computer put him on our team. But we can go after two running backs this next year. All right. So he's going to get redshirted. He's going to graduate. He'll be a senior, and he'll step in as a redshirt freshman as a backup. So 
Tons of wide receivers. Probably going to cut this junior because we have so many underclass ahead of him. And it's possible we cut Smith. We'll see. Tight end, we're good. All right, this is where we're going to have to move a bunch of guys around. So he's already been redshirted, and he will redshirt. So we're kind of covered there. We have a senior and a junior there. So... I'm going to move him to tackle. That saves us from having to recruit an extra tackle. We'll do one. Well, we're still going to have to get one. But... Center's good. Left guard. Move this guy to left guard. Alright, so we, we have two guys that are covered there. Three guys are there. The sophomore can back us up at a at uh, guard. So now we can redshirt this freshman, and we can redshirt this freshman. So we're good. We can always get better at offensive line. So just because I'm covered doesn't mean I won't go find somebody. All right, left end, right end. We got to move. He's got to move. One of these guys is going to D-tackle, probably Travis Cole. There we go. All right, so he's going to play. He's already a sophomore. He's getting redshirted. These guys are going to play. This guy is probably getting cut. Let me see what he is if I put him at D-tackle. Alright, so he's a senior, he's a junior, we redshirt him, next year we'll have two seniors, a sophomore and a freshman. Alright, outside linebacker is where we're, we're kind of loaded, um, this guy is 78, 75. Several guys we can cut in here. Um, what are these guys? These are red shirts. They're going to be red shirted. Covered there. Covered there. We could redshirt this guy. Specta can start. So maybe I don't. Maybe I move this sophomore back to right outside. Yeah. That lets you start. And he can redshirt and get another year. <clears throat> Look at these middle linebackers. So I'm strongly considering redshirting two of these guys. We'll play, we'll let revamp play here. Redshirt these two guys. We'll cut, I'll leave the junior on there. We'll cut one of the sophomores and cut the freshman and we'll be good to go at middle. Mr. September, yeah well, this is my, this is my opinion. I understand why Oklahoma would want to do it. Texas is stupid. They're going to go 5-7 and seven every year in the SEC. Um, I just wish they had, could find more higher level teams to move to the Big 12 and make that conference better. Because basically we're shoving everybody into one big conference. Once you take Clemson out of the uh, ACC and Ohio State and whoever else you want to take out of the Big 10 and we stick them all in one conference... Then you make the other conferences worthless. No one pays attention to the Pac-12 right now because the teams aren't strong. So if you gut the other conferences just to put it all in one conference, I don't know. I understand why they're doing it, and I, I and understand they want the money, but Texas, well, Texas has had one season of 10 wins since 2013. Going to the SEC is not going to make that any better. <laughs> 
All right, two sophomores at free. Heart, Dark Devil. This guy's a Juco. We gotta leave him here and redshirt him so we have a backup next year. We're gonna need a kicker and a punter. All right, we're done with all of this. So let's save what we've done. In September, I don't have a problem with the state of Texas. I actually wouldn't mind living there, but Texas Longhorns, I have no, uh, I have no loyalty to them. Never have. I probably have more loyalty to Texas Tech just from playing this football game than any other reason. Baylor needs to quit having their players rape girls on campus. That's their problem. And that's been a problem for a while. And that's nothing new. So. Actually, I loved SMU when they had uh, Dickerson and James. So, Pony Express, they were fun playing at uh, playing at uh, Cowboy Stadium. That was fun. Yeah, and my Baylor comment wasn't me just like projecting. That's shit that's actually been in the uh, fucking news. So I'm just repeating actual news. Is it? Yeah, Dickerson and James were the Pony Express. Love them. Dickerson with that Jerry curl. Yeah. And then he went to the Rams and he was so good. And they didn't want to pay him. Then he went to the Colts and was okay for a little bit. And then he just kind of. I still can't get used to him with a bald head. I still look at him and think Jerry curl. And they had those uh, tearaway jerseys that didn't even go to their uh, to the top of their pants. That was funny. All right, let's look at our training and see how many 90s we have. Look at that. All right, so we only have three, four, five, six, seven guys in the 90s, but our uh, our junior quarterback's in 97. Look at that. He's all the way up to a 96 awareness, which is going to help with the passing. Is Carey still 55? God, they do not want me to run with him. 91 throw power, 88 throw accuracy. Ninety-six injury, so that's good. He shouldn't be getting hurt. Alright, this is our JUCO Jr. And we already know from playing with him that he he's uh pretty Pretty close to ranking, so that's a good guy to have. This guy's going to get cut. Too bad. Got a lot of good speed, but we have... I don't need five quarterbacks on the roster. Alright, here's Gucci with his 96 speed. All this guy's done is step in for two injured guys and put up two 1,000 yard seasons, but he's 96 speed, 94 agility, 98 acceleration. Yeah, Kansas State is hosed. The only good thing about Kansas is they have basketball, so somebody's going to want to take him for hoops. Look at Gucci. He had 99 injury, but he broke his vertebrae in week two and missed the whole season. Ridiculous. I don't understand this game sometimes. 82 fullback, 78 behind him. Shadows, 89 with 96 speed. Breezy, grim. This guy's probably getting cut. 90 tight end. Two 81s on the left tackle. 84 81 at guard. Cincy Bowen's a 94. Spectre, we got to put your points on your guy, too. That's 79 backing up right tackle. All right, Voodoo's a 90 as a senior. We'll get more 90s in another year once these guys have another year to grow. Spectre's an 80. These two guys have high high 90s, mid 90s on the speed. That's pretty good. They'll keep us keep us keeping up. 91 speed for Dark Devil. Olivia should have 99 kick power. Yep. That's our punter got. 
JT Gaming. 97 kick power. Honestly, I usually just skip over that because you can see those players when you go to cut. Alright, so we have nine guys to cut, so we already know this guy's going away. And we know this halfback we didn't touch is going away. This is going to allow us to, to uh, recruit two halfbacks this year. Right, one, two, three, four, five. We don't need this guy. I don't care that he's 95 speed. He's not going to see the field. So we have five starters. We have three guys redshirting. So that's going to give us eight guys. on the roster for next year playing not no we're gonna play a year and the year after that we're gonna have eight wide receivers so we're not gonna have to recruit any wide receivers next season season after this six more guys to go if I have to I'll cut this 87 senior Although, yeah you can start a guard probably could cut this I don't want to cut him because then we'll be short on tackle so we'll, we'll just roll with that <clears throat> right, senior junior freshman. I kind of want to keep this guy on there for now but I wouldn't be opposed to cutting that D tackle this is where we got to cut some players look at these two 49 awareness 48 awareness that's why these guys don't tackle for shit Seventy one speed. Alright, so we have three freshman linebackers. So this guy's going away. <sighs> Let's look elsewhere before we come back to that spot. Outside linebacker, we're fine. Corner, we're fine. Free is good. Strong safety, we're fine. So we gotta come back to middle. Five guys to cut. Tell you what, this guy's gonna get cut because we're gonna have three guys that are either freshman or sophomore next year. So we don't need this guy. And we don't need. Let's look a little bit deeper. That guy is 94 Excel, the other one is 82. Looks like looks like the top guy is better across the board. McCarthy's going away. All right, so we have three guys to cut. He'll graduate. He'll be a senior, sophomore, senior, junior. Yeah, the 58 speed. Jeez. I'd rather have the sophomore play. Let this guy let this guy uh, cook in the in the kitchen, right? Look, Mansfield's gone. Two more guys. Probably that center, right? He's not gonna play over since he, he's an 87. He could play guard though. Maybe we cut this 81 guard instead. If we get rid of the 80, let him play. Maybe he starts at guard. He could back up the other guard. He's not going to beat out this guy, so we'll just get rid of Johnson. Leaves us with one more we got to cut. And we'll just cut this 67 wide receiver. Now well, we could add one, or none. I mean, shit. We're not going to need to add any more wide receivers for two years, so we're good. Everybody's in the 90s with the speed. tend to spend a lot of time on the position changes and cut players page just because that sets up your uh, recruiting for the next year and it also 
you set it up correctly, you should have no needs that the computer tells you you have to have a guard or you have to have a strong safety. And that allows you to go get what you want. Um, lets you to recruit replacements for the seniors or backfill for the juniors so that they can redshirt a year when those juniors are seniors. If you don't pay attention to spreading out the talent and the, and the uh, draft classes, um, then you end up with a problem of you only have five corners on your entire roster and you got 12 wide receivers. All right, let's go check out the skill tree because I have no idea what we got to replace the uh, D D defensive guy. All right, let's reset him and balance this out. He's maxed out, so we're good there. And we're maxed out. I don't need any freeze because I turned that bullshit off. So, but I have to put one in there so I can ad advance up the tree. <laughs> All right, custom conferences. This is where we're gonna move. ACC. Miami, we're going to flip Miami and NC State because NC State needs to be over with Duke and North Carolina. And we're going to move Wake Forest. We're an American, right? East. Hey, look, is that, do they have us really ranked preseason number one? ACC, no, ACC, Atlantic, yeah. All right, so that's our uh, half of the draw here. Check our conference rules. No, week three, we don't start in week one. Let's make sure all these conferences are set to week three to start their conference schedule. We don't want <clears throat> we don't want to have these guys playing in week one. They don't need to play in week one. Off to the uh, ACC guys. I have no bowl tie-ins. I get rid of all the bowl tie-ins. We just let everybody go where they can go. There we go. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the uh, the VOD to get the final score of that. Uh, BCS game and how many, uh, eight, eight, no. All right, I'll update that later. <clears throat> All right, let's check our schedule now that we're in the ACC. So it scheduled us against South Florida. I assume that's a rival game. War on I-4, so they want us to play those guys. That's okay. That's an easy game at the end of the season. Miami, Louisville. Um, don't like that open game there. But I usually like to put my an open right here in week 7 or 8. But that's all right. We'll take a week down there. That's fine. Two home, two away, two home, two away. we got to move two of these to away games. So we're preseason number seven is what we are. So we have a C schedule, so we're gonna have to update these. <sighs> Let's see. Let's play Army again because they were in our division and they're ranked. 
Definitely not playing Kent State. Notre Dame. We're not ready to play Notre Dame. Play Mississippi State. I haven't played them in forever. And then uh, Tulsa's a rivalry game. Tell you what. Make this open. Can I make this a rivalry with Tulsa down here? No. All right. I was trying to get them <clears throat> later in the season for a visit because you get extra points for it being a rivalry game. But we'll leave Tulsa on there because we still owe them another ass kicking. So we've got Army, Tulsa, and USF as uh, non conference games. Not the greatest, but that's a rivalry game. That's rivalry. And these guys are ranked. And then Mississippi State's just a uh, Southeast Conference, non conference. So we're good to go. That works. I can roll with a B. Still have the extra pipeline, which we're going to pick Texas because that's where we came from. So we should still have that pipeline there. And then we get to redshirt people. Look at that. None of our quarterbacks have been redshirted, so we're definitely hammering on those two guys. Man, I don't want to do... I don't want to redshirt Gucci. What do you think, Lou? Should we redshirt Gucci and say it's part of his injury thing? He's got to get another year to get better. That would let us run with Collins, who's already had two 1,000-yard seasons. And it would separate him from Shaw. So next year we'd have senior, senior, sophomore, junior. Still have a 90 sp 94 speed here. We'll come back. We'll think about it. Definitely redshirt him. And both of these guys. And the tight end. All right, we're actually going to redshirt these two guys. Leave Kimbro, which is going to be Jimmy, uh, Jimbo. I mean, they'll leave us three middles, but we got a bunch of outside linebackers that can play. I'm gonna redshirt this guy, Spectre, so you'll you'll be starting for sure. All right, redshirt both of these freshmen. All right, good to go there. So. So only one true freshman is going to play. And that leaves us with 10, 11, 11 seniors. So we're not going to have a huge class. But we can over-recruit for some of the freshmen that we got this year that aren't very high overalls. We could replace them with higher overalls. So 11. So we're probably looking at 15 or 16 guys. One second, we gotta update this. Uh, gotta update the spreadsheet, and then we'll go in and look at the. Uh, we'll go look at the guys that are. Uh, um, the recruits coming in. We need to remove these guys so that. No, they're not red shirts anymore.
All right, so now we got to go back in here and update this. So let's get that taken care of because that helps figure out what we need. The number lock would stay on. Let's try this again. Let's push me down the page. So he's a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Put these guys on the wrong side. Switch your buds. Cause that one died. Eighty-five, eighty-four, eighty-three. Junior, junior, sophomore, sophomore. So you can see we are quite young at wide receiver and we're going to be really good <clears throat> for a while. So I don't need to really go ham on those guys and recruiting maybe uh, a really good player. If we had you know, a guy in the low 70s, or I'm sorry, low 60s wants to come in and play for us, we'll uh, put him on the board, take him. But uh, We can kind of take it easy with wide receivers for a year and come back and get those guys next year.
Hey, Spectre, if you're still around, man, we gotta do your guy. You gotta add your points. You have 10 points to put on your player. This is what I jacked up before, so let's fix this. This is a 90, 81, 76. Stays there. Just sophomore. Hey, no problem. We're uh, we're going through um, setting up our uh, depth chart so we can go do the recruiting. I need to uh, put your 10 points on your player. So as soon as I get done with this, we can go ahead and throw those points on there because I'm going to need to add um, beast mode as a player. I need to uh, add revamp in here too. Then we can upgrade you at the same time. So you saw us beat Texas Tech though, right? Sure, it's quite boring for you guys to watch too, so I apologize, but this is a necessary evil to uh, keep me uh, 
organizing what I'm doing. Yeah, we were down 20-10 at half and didn't give up a point in the second half, so. Beat him Almost done. 94 picker. And a 91 punter. Both juniors. So we gotta go get the replacements. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, 11 seniors. Alright, so go, let's go find our needs now. I can move my keyboard back. Give myself a little more room here. <clears throat> All right, so we have a senior quarterback. He's going to graduate. So then next year he'll be a senior, and we'll have two guys as a freshman. So we're going to add a quarterback because we uh, need to replace the one that's graduating. I like to have four quarterbacks because of injuries. You can always rip a red shirt off if you really get into a bind. I've seen enough other people streaming that had three quarterbacks, and then. All three of them are hurt, and now you're playing a wide receiver or a DB at quarterback. <clears throat> uh, running back, we need two. Or halfback. So we'll put two on there so they can redshirt while these guys are playing. Um, fullback, we need one because we're going to have a, a senior graduate, and then this guy's going to be a senior next year, so we're going to need another fullback. Always need to carry two. Uh, wide receiver, I don't need any. Tight end, we need one. Tackles, got a senior, but we have good guys behind him. I could go for a higher freshman here to replace him, so that's a possibility. Same thing with guard. So, he's a junior, so we're going to need at least one. We need a center, that's two. So guard and center right now, but we could over recruit. So let's say one tackle, one center, and we'll leave that there for now. And we, we know we can always come back and add um, an extra guard and tackle. I don't need to go for those guys because we have such young starters in front of them, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to add guard. We'll add one guard so I can replace this 68. All right. Defensive end, we need at least two. So we have two seniors and we have a uh, junior behind them, so we're going for two DNs. D tackle, uh, just one. We'll get another one next year. Outside linebacker, Looks like we could use one because I could always move one of these. So this 78 will likely get shoved to a backup roll on the outside since we have three freshmen in the middle here. So we're going to say, hey, man, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, we're we're going to say one, one middle because we'll probably move this guy. One middle, one outside. And they don't have to be high overall. They just need to be a body, right? All right. Um, corner, we are set. I mean, 
we're looking two juniors, a senior, and four freshmen. So we can wait. We don't even need to add one. So we'll wait till next year, and we can go after. There'll be juniors. There'll be sophomores. There'll be freshmen. Yeah, we we can add two next year. We'll we'll add up what this is, and if I have an extra one, we'll we'll add a corner. Free safety's fine. Strong safety will be fine because he'll be sophomore, junior. We can add a strong safety next year. We do need a punter and a kicker so we can redshirt those guys while our other guys are playing. Shit. Go ahead, cat blocks on. All right, so let's add this up. We have 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's four extra players. Four extra players. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, fifteen. I think we'll just stick with fifteen, and if we get sixteen or seventeen, we're okay. Alright, so that's what we're rolling with. Alright, so now I need to write this shit down so I can keep it handy while I'm playing. Eleven seniors. We're only gonna go for like fifteen recruits. I'll go from there. All right, let's hop back to the live cam. <clears throat> we can get into these recruits and take a look at them. Let me uh, take care of you right now. Let's go find you, Specta. You're a strong safety, aren't you? No. Your outside linebacker. There we go. All right, so you need to add 10 points in. Yeah, so here are your ratings. So you can tell me why you want to add 10 points. So you've got, here's all your uh, hit power, power moves, finesse, block shed, pursuit. Pursuit probably could go up. So this is all the stuff that pertains to you, tackle, um, and then agility, speed, strength. But you have 10 points to put in there, so you can tell me where you want to put those 10 points. Five in pursuit, three in speed, that leaves you with two more. Strength, okay. So what were you before? You were in a, uh, you were an 80. So now you're an 81. Put him in there because I put him at middle linebacker. So let's. Do it. All right. 
Let's go back. We'll just run it all together, but I'll put the capital in there. Yeah, revamp's on here. He's a middle linebacker. He's Jimbo Pimp Chill, chill Pimpster. Jimbo Chill Pimpster. I know he likes low. I think he had like 11 before. Let's give him 10 and go find who 11 is. Gotta find the one that has more blonde hair. Actually, gonna change his name to Chill Pimp. <clears throat> Come on, where's the guy with the blonde hair? This is terrible. I'm just gonna lose your beard, Jim. You gotta make sure you're the right height, too. Let's go see if we can find who has 11. It's got to be wide receiver or quarterback. Grimm's 11. Just because I think Grimm wanted another number and that was taken. We're going to give Grimm 17. Actually, I'm going to get Grimm a single digit. Give Grim five, and then we can give uh, Jimbo his eleven. I'll fix his name. There we go. All right, so he's taken care of. Beast mode. Beast mode still around? Spectre, you got updated. Revamp's in there. Grim's in there. Mr. Murder's in there. Let me see if I can find what Beast had in here. He's, he posted it way early and I told him to wait. So let me see if I can still see it because it might have scrolled off the board by now. Quarterback, I misread. All right, so pink pack. What is he? He's a junior. He's a freshman. 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 Let's give him the one that's already been uh, redshirted, so he can get on the field and play. is already taken. 16 is already taken, so 6. So Size is fine. I'm not going to change it. It just needs to be a certain right. Nike visor. Just 
sleeves. Gloves, I think, are just in, in the game. Whatever I choose for the team. Um, two full team color sleeves. Care about the cleats. Helmet was. You can say. All right, let's just roll with that. All right, so. There we go. So he's taken care of. He's taken care of. You're taken care of. You throw that note away. Everybody's good to go. All right, let's go do some recruiting now instead of uh, doing all this house cleaning stuff. Save this real quick. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I got six, six, one. This, this guy. There, I gotta make sure I mark him off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve guys on the team. Shit, it's already four o'clock. Been on for six hours. Didn't intend to do it this long, but of course, you know, with the uh, the way that tool worked. All right, Lou, if you're still around, George, if you're still around, this is your favorite part, man. Here we go. All right, so one quarterback, two halfbacks. Those guys we don't have to get right away. We do need a fullback and a tight end right away. We need all three linemen right away. Both linebackers. We don't need anybody in the secondary, so that's nice. Kickers and punters are going to take points away that we don't really want to spend. All right, we can look at how much our school jumped up. So look at all the A's we're getting now. I mean, coach championship, stadium. Our conference, by changing conferences, we jumped from a B- minus to an A-. minus. Pro potential, this is all going to go up. So, we're in good shape. We should have some guys in the 300s on the uh, bonuses, so that'll help us. Gotta plug back in. Hold on a sec. Alright, so... Actually, let me exit out of this. If the number one prospect wants to come to Central Florida. All right, team needs. I'm going to make sure we have nothing here. All right. So it says we... It also tells you how good your players are right here. So our quarterback is... All of our quarterbacks are B-. minus, Halfback B-, minus, fullbacks are C. We need to really get better tackles and guards. So the one tackle, one guard we're getting, we're going to target high overalls. Same thing with defensive end. D-tackle. Middle is at C+, plus just because we have a bunch of freshmen. They'll, that'll jump up in the Bs next year once they get some uh, some uh, get some progression on there. Get out of here. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go to the Spark 100. I could look at everybody at one time, but it's kind of nice to just look at this. All right, so we do not need a wide receiver. But the lowest guy in the totem pole is a 72. This guy's a 78, and he runs a 436. So I'm not opposed, like I said, to over recruiting to replace and upgrade the route running. So look at that A plus A plus B plus. Yeah, we'll throw him on the board. Look, five star tight end. And we're pretty high on that too. I don't need another wide receiver. We'll just take one, put him on the board. This guy, man, if this guy has B throw power. No, it gets. Why did it do that? It skipped off. All right, 
He's C throw power with B accuracy, which means he's not going to have a strong arm. So he's basically a running back or a DB. And we don't need a DB. We do not need corners at all. So um, even though he's a five star, I'm not taking him. Same thing with this wide receiver. I'm not taking him. This guy. He's got 580 squat, so he's going to drop. He's probably going to be like a 73. I don't want him. I want guys in 600. This guy will be good. We'll throw him on the board. Outside linebacker with 600 squat, 400 bench press, and a 4640. We definitely want. This is the number one guy, number one athlete. And spin move, stiff, ball carry elusive. We could take him. Looks like he could play wide receiver too, but it wouldn't be bad to have him as a running back that can catch the ball. So, not very agile, we'll see. But he's an 80. I mean, I, I can replace both wide receivers at the bottom of the depth chart with the, that guy and the other guy. Let's hope this guy has B-throw power. There we go. Alright, B-throw power, B-throw accuracy, B-spin move, C-carry, that's okay. Looks like he could play wide receiver as well. We're way up the list on the bonus. Um, this guy with a 4-5-2, he's a quarterback. So he can play wide receiver or running back. This is an 85 speed quarterback. And we just need one. Uh, strong safety is an 80 overall. What did we do? We got a 72, so I'm going to throw him on the board because we could actually, we could actually um, upgrade. We need a, we actually need a strong safety, so we're going to throw him on the board. Center, we need a center because since he's going to graduate, this guy can get redshirted. Defensive end, we need two, so he's going on the board. I don't need all these wide receivers, and we can find a center better than him. <clears throat> all right, now let's go to all. And we're going to sort by no deal breakers, and let's just stay with the top five right now, just to see what we have. And let's kick this up to four star. 31 matches. Let's actually move this to top 10. 41. So now we're going after top level players. We don't need three stars unless we have to. So we'll, we would settle for them if we have to, right? 488 on a quarterback is too slow. Not interested. Halfback, 40 times are too slow. Not interested. No fullback. We can come back for three stars on these guys. Alright, so we have the number one wide receiver in the class. We don't even need wide receiver, so I'll throw him on the board just, just for shits and grins. Tight end, we definitely need one. We're number two on that board. Um, sixth on there. I'll add him just to make sure I have one guy I can get. One tackle. rather have a higher bench press, but I'll throw him on there for now. Got that center, D end. We need two of these guys, so we're looking 600 squat and low 40 times. So we'll have to come back and look for more guys. D tackle we don't need. Outside linebacker, we need one, so we have him. Middle linebacker. Go with him. He's too slow. We'll look, we'll look, um, we'll look where we're not on their top 10 at all and see if we can find a little lock guy. Um, corners, we don't need. Kicker and punter we need. Nobody wants us because there's no four-star kickers and punters. Athlete, I could look at these guys. All right, so now let's take this back down to three-star. This will greatly improve our offensive line list and our kickers and punters. Let's go back and see if we can get a kicker or a punter. This guy's 
Nothing special. Nothing special. Good go, sophomore. He has a defensive player. He's a linebacker with a 4 4 6. I don't, I don't need him, though. We have more linebackers than we need in the middle. So. Strong safety, we have this guy on there. And we'll uh, throw him on there just to have a backup. Middle linebacker, I'd like to get two. So he's really weak. I don't like that 40 time, but we'll toss him on there just in case. Outside linebacker. So whatever you need. So if you need one outside linebacker, you usually want to carry two guys on the list. So in case you get posed on the first guy, you got another guy to put on there. 64 overall. He's pretty strong though. He's not super slow. Defensive end, still looking at 600 squats, high 500s. So 40 times, we'll look for some more of those guys off the other list. This guy, definitely throw him on the board. Guard, throw him on, tackle. Tight end, we've already got two. Wide receiver, we don't need. Fullback, there we gotta go lower than than that on the fullbacks. Same thing with the halfbacks. Quarterback, they're too. His quarterbacks are too slow. Let's go into athlete and check this one more time. No. So he's he's a no go. So now we're going to take this down to any any, and we're going to look for guys who are not on their board. Well, fullbacks, kickers, and punters are going to look at two stars. So we're going to go do those right away because they don't have too many three stars at either one of those two fullbacks. We sort by squat, and then look for a low 40 times. Is there any interest at all? He's a 72, he's a 70, it's balanced. I'll tell you what, it's hard enough to get those guys. I just need a backup, so we'll throw them both on the board. Halfback, we want low 40 time, but high strength. So. What is our pitch on this guy? Terrible. Who really likes these guys? Low 40 times, high strength. Power backs with high with low 40 times. Four three. Throw him on the board. Don't like him. Man. Alright, throw him on there. Let's go. Got the fullbacks. All that stuff good. We need. Right now I'm looking for good bonuses. I'll throw him on there. Um, four, six, throw him on there. Five star go. Oh, accidentally hit the trigger and moved off the hit the vent. All right, so let's throw this guy on the board. Check out outside linebacker, 81 overall. Proximity to home, that sucks. Throw him on there. Uh, middle, this would 
Let's get it. Be good. All right. There. Kicker and punter. Kicker and punter, and all I do is just come sort by their rank. Because you're going to get the best ones overall. And now we're just looking at bonus. So he's going on the board. we got to have two because we don't always get our first choice. And I only look at power on kicker. All right, let's just throw this extra guy on here. And we'll go to punter, and then we'll get athletes, and we'll be done. This one we're going to look at 40 times and we're going to scroll down and look at throw power. This is how I find those quarterbacks with 95 speed, 90 throw power. We start with the fastest players and just strictly look at throw power. So we're looking for a B throw power, B throw accuracy. He's a C. He's possible. Calmly. We might come back to him. guy's skill. Is he a running back? Yes. Definitely want this guy. This guy running back. Carrying's a D. That sucks. Take him anyway. Maybe he'll go up. Alright, we're full up. Alright, so full board. So let's uh, go scout the top 20 and call it a day, guys. It's been six hours in. No intention of uh, going this long today. We we're only supposed to play three games, but that fucking playoff utility tool. We need to use that as sparingly as possible because it's really a pain in the ass. I'll scout him, but we'll uh, probably dump his ass for someone else, so we'll, we'll see. I know why you guys don't like doing it because it's so time consuming, but the necessary evil. Sad part is probably over half of these guys are going to be gone as soon as we get through week one. <laughs> We're going to fall behind. We're not going to get them. They're going to be a bust. They're not going to be anybody we want on the team anyway, so... Hopefully they fix the uh, scouting in this game so that you can 
have a better idea of more players without fully scouting them. You know, maybe you you scout a few guys partially, give you an idea of uh, ballpark ID on these guys without having to scout every single player. There's a pretty good chance I'm not buying a PS5 just for the uh, new game when it comes out. So if you uh, get the new game and you're going to look at me to figure out how to recruit, it's going to be a while because I'm not interested in buying a third, actually a fourth console. I got a PS2 right over there. So. Go. Chad. Hanging Chad, let's go. All right, let's go scout these top 20 and uh, call it a day. <clears throat> All right, this punter. Yeah. 90 kick power. Yeah, we could use him a kicker too. <laughs> this guy was supposed to have power kick anyway. He could be a punter and he could be the kicker. That's why you recruit him when they're... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of hoping. I I don't mind playing it on my PS4. That would be awesome. I'd rather play the new college game on the PS4. Um, but if we get these two guys, we'll flip them. That's one reason why when you recruit them, you want your punter and kicker you're replacing to be juniors instead of seniors. So that when you put them on the team, you can flip their positions and then redshirt them. 95 acceleration. 79 catching, 80 catching traffic, 83 route running, 73 stiff, 80 carry, 73 juke, 85 elusive, 90 stamina. This guy is a good running back or wide receiver. Keep him on the board just in case. 92 kick power, kind of like that. Five pass blocking center. That's not bad. My dog just went and got in her kennel. I don't know what's up with that. 73 tight end. I don't care that he went down. He's on the he's down the depth chart, so it's not a big deal. Chad, this is a running back. His elusiveness isn't very good, though. Probably more of a wide receiver than, than running back, but he'd be usable. He'd probably be a decent backup. All right. 86 speed, 90 acceleration, 89 agility, 72 carry. It's better than our current one. He's only 38 elusive. 88 spin, 81 juke, 89 throw power, so he's weird. 38 elusive, but he's got 88 spin, 90 excel. He's basically a wide receiver. He could play quarterback. That's I wanted him to play quarterback, but you know, I don't think he's going to have enough uh, swerve to him to, to play it. Here we go. 81 outside linebacker. That's why you sort by a squat and look for 600 squat, 400 bench. God, we're going to be linebacker U is what we're going to be. Alright, so we stopped at this punter, so, uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, we're going to stop at the punter. No, this guy's terrible. He's gone. Let's go find another punter to put on the bottom of the board. <clears throat> I want to make sure I have 35 guys, because then we'll be on their board. Otherwise, you're a week behind, so let's go find another punter to throw on the board.
Yeah, so we don't have a good bonus on this guy. Remember, it's uh, A minus is okay. Probably not gonna be enough. This guy's better. All right. So what I'm gonna do is move him all the way up to where that other puncher was, so I know where we stopped. And then we'll uh, finish this off next stream. We'll finish this off, advance to week one, move those guys around, and then uh, start playing. Where did we stop? Alright, Latimer, 74. Alright, there we go. So the punter will be our place marker so we know we have to scout all these guys. So, Alright guys, I appreciate everybody coming in here and spending half your day with me. Appreciate that a lot. And putting up with the uh, garbage with this utility tool. We, luckily we uh, survived and nothing broke, so... We can start the next season, got our first natty, got the real natty for UCF, and uh, we can kick some ass and not have to worry about using it again for a while. This recruiting season should be pretty easy since we have uh, wanted every position except D-end and halfback, and you know we can find a bunch of halfbacks, so we should be able to focus, which means in the in the in week one you'll see me throw 700 points on a bunch of the guys that were high on the list on. We'll uh, try and close these guys out early. I'm not going to worry so much about the halfbacks. Um, but that fullback, tight end, linebackers, offensive line, those guys are all going to get 700. We got put strong safety here, too. So. All right, guys. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to. Uh, Find someone for you to go raid. We'll go raid. See if you guys have anybody you want me to go raid. Because right now, uh, my choice is... We got USN for NCAA. We got Striking Viking if you want MLB the show. We've got Revamp, which I raid him a lot. He keeps telling me I don't have to. Hindsight Grim is playing City Skylines. Um, D's Diabetes is playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, D Breezy is playing NCAA Football 14. Is there anybody else that you guys know you want me to uh, go? We can go do that. Um, kind of leaning towards D Breezy. So. But anyway, um, probably, what is today? Seventh, so probably gonna wait until Thursday and not stream tomorrow because this was a lot longer and I'm um, I'm kind of tired from streaming a long time twice in three days so um so we'll look at look at Thursday day same time 10 a.m. so let's go uh, let's go raid E breeze and then two I. All right, guys, I'm going to give you the uh, thanks for watching screen. We'll go raid him, and I will see you guys uh, in other people's chats, and uh, we'll stream again on Thursday morning. So thanks again. I appreciate it, guys.